Well then. Hello. And welcome back. Here we are again. In the Citadel. <laughs> Ready to play Mass Effect. For the second time ever. So before we start, I will tell you this is the Legendary Edition. It's Mass Effect 1, Legendary Edition. I've not played any Mass Effects before at all, apart from the previous episode last week that we played this with, and I got this far. <laughs> um, this is a completely help-free, hints-free. Uh, please don't tell me anything about this game. I just really hope that you enjoy experiencing it for the first time through my eyes. Um, I will mess everything up. I will get everything wrong, but I will have a great time along the way doing it all and experiencing it all for the first time. So thank you so much for uh, making it possible for me to continue to do that without any help or hints. Good evening, everybody. Um, I am streaming this every Monday live on twitch.tv forward slash hello it's colo. And the episodes are then being uploaded every Wednesday to YouTube. So hello, YouTube, if you're there. Thank you so much for all of your kind comments on the first episode. It was uh, lovely to hear it resonating with so many of you who appear to be like really long time players with like hundreds or thousands of hours, which is incredible. Um, hi, YouTubes. Hi, YouTubes. Hi. Um, it's also worth saying, uh, from this episode onwards, comments are going to be disabled on YouTube. It's been a tricky decision to make, but the reason that I've made that decision is largely because over here on Twitch, while we are streaming this live, um, the moderators do an absolutely incredible job at keeping us help free and hints free. And they are, they, they just, they're overrun. They do the best job. They are just absolutely incredible what they do but unfortunately we're not able to do that 24 hours a day on youtube um so the option is either leave them completely unmoderated um or spoil myself or turn them off so we've gone for the turn off i will make a video about this at some point so youtube if you're interested in hearing more about the kind of uh that side of things then i will be making a video because it's a bit more complicated than that but anyway We'll get stuck in for now, let's go. I was asked earlier what to expect from today and basically my expectations are get lost in the Citadel. <laughs> That's it. That's basically my only expectation from today. All right, let's get in, shall we? Let's get to space, hell yeah. All right, so this is like the, uh, like the guidance hollow, I think. Welcome to Presidium Tourism Terminal One. There are many points of interest here, including the Citadel embassies and CSEC headquarters. Okay. On the far end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I've just got visions of, like, running down the corridor and breaking through the door on a real, like, important meeting and being like, BOOM! Hi, I'm here! It's really inappropriate, but, uh, should we do it anyway? <laughs> Sorry, let's listen more. Um, I think we learned about the embassies before. See, sec, did we learn about, about Citadel security. Oh. Citadel security serves as Red law flags. enforcement for all regions of the Citadel, though the majority of officers serve in the wards. Executor Palin, a Turian, is the current head of CSEC, but individuals from virtually every species across Citadel space serve as officers beneath him. If you wish to learn more, Executor Palin's office is located in the CSEC headquarters just across the lobby. Okay. Should we do- let's Goodbye. do that! Let's go Goodbye see them! and thank you for using Avena. Just across Please the lobby? Your visit this to the way? Citadel. This is the secretary that we spoke to before that didn't have any time for us, and quite rightfully told us that they were very busy. Is there something else I can help you with, Commander? <sighs> I think, I think they already, yeah, we already asked personal questions and I think I we, should be I going think now. we just wasted, Have I feel bad. Day. I feel like I'm wasting their time. Let's go up the stairs. Isn't this where we came from? Probably. Are we going to go there anywhere? Yes, definitely. <laughs> okay, open. Let me in. Let me in, mother badgers. Okay, what's up here? A diplomat. <gasps> Whoa! Hi, Elcor Diplomat. Hi, I like Hello, your armor. Delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Ah, you humans are a wonderful sight here on the Citadel. Oh my god, I love your voice. 
It is good to see you, human. I sincerely hope you enjoy your time here. Do you know the subreddit Totally Not Robots? Do you... Do you know the subreddit Totally Not Robots? You should go and check it out if you don't. <laughs> and it's basically robots pretending to be not robots. <laughs> and they post in all capitals. Ah, uh, yes, human, it is definitely a delight to be here. <laughs> I certainly hope the other inhabitants are treating you well, human. Human. Can I learn more about the L course? Human, delighted, welcome. It is good to meet you. Can I? I have a. Wait, I have. Ah, no, 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 no! Don't shoot it! No, 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 no! No, no! How do I put it away? I've completely forgotten the control scheme! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> it's fine! It's totally fine, chat! Completely forgotten all of the controls. This is the problem with only playing the Twitch game once a week. Oh no, am I gonna get told off for that? Almost definitely. Wait, nobody cares. I just. I just shot a hole in the Citadel floor. <laughs> and nobody moved. Shall I do it again? <laughs> Nobody cares! I'm just shooting up the sand hole! Nobody cares! Nobody Oh my god, so disrespectful. Stop it, Colo. Stop it, damn it. Uh there we go. Right, it was that button. I gotta remember that. <clears throat> anyway, should we move swiftly on later? <laughs> Be prepared for any and all gingery nonsense. <laughs> They're like, oh yeah, she just can't remember what buttons are. Don't worry, she's not a threat. Oh dear. Sorry, everybody, for uh, taking you all by surprise. Thank you for your bobs, Layla. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. This place is fantastic. I can't believe I landed a job here. This place is fantastic. I'm a oh. Potato. Oh, I got something on the codex. Okay, man, I can't remember any of my can... Mellow greetings. Commander Olock the Paragon Ginger. Save you oh, the galaxy <laughs> in progress. <laughs> Ally to the Quarians, I am. Of Cola, I just can't remember any of it. Is it here? This one. How's life as a protagonist treating you? Oh my goodness, I'm having the best time, Maria. I'm just absolutely having the best time. Thank you so much for the 37 months. <laughs> Thank you. And Mongoose gifting us up to another Monday. It is. It is indeed. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for the gift sub there, Mongoose. Red alert, someone's sus is randomly shooting in the station. Prepare the airlocks. Lordy, look, I'm doing my best, chat. TPM! I was going to make a Mass Effect pun, but if I did, you'd all be a sorry. Yeah, right, okay, so that's probably a joke that I definitely can't get yet. Hello, TPM, hello. Hello, Storm Dolphin, how are you? It's nice to see you. Thank you so much for tier three for 39 months. Hi. Hi! Long time no see. <laughs> Oh my lordy. So what do I, what, what did they pick up? What did they, because it said something codex, but I must have picked something up. I should just sit and read all of this really, shouldn't I? She says, definitely not doing it. N7, oh, no, I know that that's something very important because I know that there's like posters and stuff. And I think Murgles has a hat that says N7 on it. I know that that's something relevant. The, the Alliance Military Vocational Code System classifies the career path of all serving personnel. The MVC consists of one letter and one number. A soldier's MVC indicates proficiency, not rank. The letter notes career path. The number indicates level of experience, as indicated by service record. Technical scores and com commendations. All 26 letters are used and numbers run from one to seven. N is the letter code for special forces personnel. Oh my goodness. So, so we only know about N7. Does, is that ours? Oh, I have so many questions. All right. Okay. Who lordy. <laughs> Thank you for the gift. So TPM. Oh my goodness. Did you feel the galaxy rumble? 
<laughs> Unbelievable. Um, ashore. When a ship's crew leaves the vessel, they are ashore. Okay. Though normally used regarding planets, it can refer to boarding a space station. Like a, like a ship in the sea, right? Away. When a ship releases the... Oh! When a ship releases the equipment, tethering it to a space station or surface dock, it is away. Okay. I was trying to formulate a pun in my head, but I couldn't get there and <laughs> couldn't get there in time. Um, as soon as possible. Stop bridge. Captain's mast. Non-judicial. <laughs> Non-judicial. Wow. Why am I like this? Disciplinary proceedings by unit commanders. Okay. CIC combat information center. Damage control. We're going to need to know that one. The containment and repair of damage to a spacecraft. Yes. I should, um, should have known about that one. That would, uh, be, uh, <laughs> be useful for 10 minutes ago. ECM electronic and I can't believe I just shot the Citadel. Why? Why am I like this? EVA extravehicular activity. Spent time in a pressure suit outside of a vehicle spacecraft flank. The side of a military formation, okay. FNG. Freaking new guys. I would like to press X to doubt that that is the F word that it stands for. <clears throat> Uh, light amplified detection and ranging. We learned about that last time, I think. Silent running. Stealth systems. I know that from Elite Dangerous. Site rep. Abbreviation of situation report. Space. As someone who has spent most of their life in space. Exo. It's a, a song. Exo, exo. Uh, executive officer. The second in command of an alliance warship. The exo is responsible for administrative and personal matters. Oh. I just need to console myself. Just need to console your console yourself. For God's sake, TPM, it's absolutely terrible. Thank you for the bobs. So bad. So bad. Ships and vehicles. Ooh, okay, starship sensors. I think part of this I read last time, but also I'm aware that there is just so much lore that I'm not going to be able to understand all of it at the same time. So I'm just going to do that thing where I read some of it, hope that some of it sticks, forget the rest of it, <laughs> and probably come back to it at a later point. Okay, biotics manipulate mass effect. It's not. Uh, mass effect fields using dozens of element zero nodules within their nervous systems that react to electric stimuli from the brain. Amplifiers allow biotics to synchronize the nodules so they can form fields large and strong enough for practical use. This is already above my head, I'm going to be honest with you. Amplifiers can improve a specific discipline or talent. An implant is surgically embedded in, uh, is a surgically embedded interface port into which amps are plugged in. On humans, the implant is usually placed at the base of the skull for convenient access. <laughs> Though the user must be careful to keep it free of contaminants! Oh! <sighs> implant ports can fit a variety of amps and there is a growing market for modifications and add-ons. The finest quality implants and amps are manufactured by Asari Artisans! I get the joke now! Uh, but the Alliance's L3 implants first deployed in 2170 are a significant step forward. Now, we learned a little bit, didn't we? We learned a little bit about my squad dude's implant. Because he has Caden. Because he has migraines. We learned about that before. <gasps> Wait, do I have points? Oh, oh my goodness, we have points! Okay, all right, Caden. Um, special training allows Sentinels to use tech and biotics more efficiently than other classes. Reduces the retard recharge time. Oh my goodness. Okay. Uh, uh, increase. Oh man. Recruits the cooldown time of biotic and tech talents by 7%. Increases pistol damage by 6%. Increases pistol accuracy by 10%. See, I'd mu I think I'd much prefer to go for something that's regular like that. Especially when I don't really understand the combat mechanics yet. I feel like consistent increased damage is always going to be the winner before you understand exactly the ins and outs of the perfect match you know increases squad healing would be pretty good though 
decryption. Increases the amount of Omni Gel recovered. Let's use the decryption skill to open secure objects. Grants the sabotage ability, which shuts down enemy weapons within a certain radius. Excuse me? I can shut down. Caden. Shut down enemy weapons within a certain radius? Oh! Oh, then. Creates a powerful mass effect field that immobilizes a single target. Bolsters your kinetic shields with a mass effect field that can absorb massive amounts of damage. There's a lot of masses in here. Projects a mass effect field powerful enough to hurl objects and enemies. Con I feel like, I feel like I'm just going to put the points in here for now, honestly. Because that's a lot to put, to put three points in here. Because, yeah, look at that. That's a lot. Increases pistol accuracy by 13%. Increases, increases pistol damage by 8%. Yeah, I'm good with that. And we still have one more. Shut the front door. We still have one more. Knocks out an organic enemy for one second. Inflicts to 40 toxic damage. <sighs> 40 health for all wounded party, memory, party memories. Let's do that. Yeah. All right, well, that's that's what I've done for now. <laughs> is it right or is it wrong? Only time will tell. We still have Ashley for now. For now. Speaking of mass, how do you determine the mass of a red hot chili pepper? I don't know how. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. <laughs> give it away, give it away, give it away now. Thank you for your bits, TPM. I really enjoyed that. I really enjoyed that. Um... I I think the same here. I think it sort of makes sense to put their points into their specialty. It's really hard, actually. And I know that so many of you watching have played so much of this that you're probably shouting at the screen and go, do this, do this. But it's quite hard when you don't have that perspective to just kind of try and figure it out. But that is one of the things that I enjoy the most about the game. Okay, so I can't add any more. I guess that's when I when she levels up. Maybe it opens up for them more. Fitness increases health by 10%. Increases weapon damage, increases melee damage. Web all weapon damage? Okay, let's put the other one in there for now. What is the mass of a hipster? That one there. Okay. We'll put that one in there. Alright. And then I've kind of got to have a look at equipment really as well and see what I can do there. But we did do that at the, the end of the last stream. So let's just let's just attempt to not shoot the Citadel and see if we can meet some people. How about that? How about we do that? Hi! Can we be friends? <laughs> Literally me in every single game. I don't want to talk to Ashley. I want to talk to, to, to this person. Hi. We can't talk. They don't want to talk to me. They don't want to talk to me. I just love this model. I know that we spent ages, ages, ages looking at one of these. Uh, uh, but just, oh my goodness. I just... Like, I'm fascinated. What, what an incredible big game design. I love it. And the voice here. We just got to hear it again before we go out of here. Ah, you humans are a wonderful sight here on the Citadel. Ah, you humans are a wonderful sight here on the Citadel. <laughs> Hurricane, thank you for gifting us up to bug, dude. Thank you very much. One more time. It is good to see you, human. I it, sincerely human. hope you enjoy your time here. I sincerely hope you enjoy your time here, human. <laughs> human. <laughs> Love it. Why are they called L? Elcor, Elcor diplomat. Oh, I really. That's. I think that's why. <laughs> I think that's why. I, if if only I could remember that it's not that heckin' button. That's why I was looking at. That's what I was trying to look up. Aliens council races. The Asari, roughly twelve hundred years. I did. I, non council races. The Geth yes. are a humanoid race of networked AIs. Okay. They were created by the Quarians three hundred years ago as tools of labor and war. 
When the Geth showed signs of self-evolution, the Quarians attempted to exterminate them. The Geth won the resulting war. This example has led to legal, systematic repression of artificial intelligences in galactic society. The Geth possess a unique distributed intelligence. An individual has rudimentary animal instincts, but as their numbers and proximity increase, the apparent intelligence of each individual improves. In groups, they can reason, analyze situations, and use tactics, as well as any organic race. Geth space is located at the trailing end of the Perseus arm, beyond the lawless Terminus systems. The Perseus veil, an obscuring dark nebula of opaque gas and dust, Whoa. lies between their space and the Terminus systems. Whoa! Wow! Okay. Holy... This, this game is going to be so complex. You all told me that the lore in this game was so, so complex. 50,000 years ago, the Protheans were the only spacefaring species in the galaxy. They vanished and... Just have to stop a minute because, um... How does Alexander Hamilton, the short-tempered protean creator of the Coast Guard, founder of the New York Post, suddenly... <laughs> it's literally just one word and I'm immediately singing Hamilton. 50,000 years ago, the Protheans were the only spacefaring species in the galaxy. They vanished in a swift galactic extinction. Only the legacy of their empire remains. They are believed to have built the mass relays and the citadel, oh, cool. which have allowed numerous species to explore and expand throughout the galaxy. Oh, that's really cool. Protean ruins are found on worlds across the galaxy. While surprisingly intact for their age, functioning examples of Prothean paleotechnology are rare. Time and generations of looters have picked their dead cities and derelict stations clean. Some believe the Protheans meddled in the evolution of younger races. The Hanar homeworld of Kaje, for example, shows clear evidence of former Prothean occupation. The presence of a former Prothean observation post on Mars has caused a rebirth of interventionary evolutionists uh -huh. among humans. These individuals believe the god myths of ancient civilizations are misremembered encounters with aliens. Whoa! That's so fascinating! Oh my goodness! These individuals believe the god myths of ancient civilizations are misremembered encounters with aliens. Whoa! Whoa! Oh my goodness! Um, friends, um, I have an actual question, chat. Actual question, if you don't know, is this is as, as I've said before, uh, no help, no hints playthrough. But actual question is the code word to say this is a real question that I would really like you to actually ask, please. <laughs> um, is this last stream? Stand by. Last stream, we had to find that special technology. Was that the protein technology? Is that this? Is that what this was? Protein technology? That's what that was. Oh, cool. Okay. Right, so we think that they, so they don't, they don't exist. Yup, 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 yup. I can just see you in chat. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, everybody. The beacon is protein tech. Okay, the beacon was protein. Cool, okay. And I got like swept up in that nonsense for a little while. I was like suspended by a beacon for a brief moment in time. <laughs> One moment in time. <laughs> That's an entirely different narrative. Um, not that one. I After would like the to... Secure... That's terrifying! The what? Citadel. No, I'm sorry. Um, I don't want you to know about the... any of this. I just want to know Which... about our new friend with the awesome voice. Elder... Elcor. It's nothing in my... Well, all right. Well, that's my mission for today. Learn about... That. So this is, this is, this is just like the bar. This is a, a fountain! I don't believe the rumors. The consort would never reveal her secrets. Of course she would. She <laughs> For a minute, I thought that, <laughs> I thought that the statue was being in the water. Nothing girls back on the colonies. She's, she's. You don't have to do it with her. You can just talk to her if you want. She's what? Is that all you did, Jazz? Just talk. She's what? Ha! I bet you did too. Shut it up, Frederick. Down. 
So did I... Did I just intervene at a very interesting time? Were you... Uh, were you about to say something? Want? Oh, Commander. <laughs> Is there something I can do for you? Relax, Private. This isn't an inspection. <laughs> right, sorry. What can I do for you, Commander? Consort! What can you tell me about the Asari Consort? I, uh... Well, she's an Asari who works here as... That is, she helps people with... things. You never want to see her, did you, Fredericks? I, uh... No, I never did. Uh, I couldn't afford it. It costs half a year's credits just to go in and talk to her. Can you at least tell me where I can find her? Sure. She's across the bridge from the embassies. Thanks, kid. Have fun. Try not to get into too much trouble. I will. Have fun, that is. We just need to take a moment and nod, chap. Just need to, we just need to take a moment and nod. Um, for those of you who don't know what the ginger nod is, it's a bit like the bus driver nod, the biker's nod, the runner's nod, or like if you're wearing the same sports team shirt as as the other as the other person, the stranger in the street, and you just go past and you just do a little nod of recognition. Um, this is this is the ginger nod. And despite the questionable activity here, Private Fredericks, not entirely sure if I trust you, you are ginger, and therefore you get a nod of recognition from one ginger to another. That friend is called the ginger nod. The ginger nod. TPM, thank you for gifting us up to beep boop, beep boop. Beep boop, beep boop. Can I talk to, can I talk to you? No? What are you drinking there? What are you drinking there, friends? I can try to, I can try to see you around the corner. It's a computer game, Colo. It's a computer game. Should we see what these have to say today? All right, Ashley. Uh, what you got to say today? I'm... Please, please be nice. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. <sighs> Why did I bother? Big place. It is, Caden. Sure is peaceful here. He is. She's done it again. She's only gone and done it again. Just I, like I get that humans aren't black and white and everything, but it's not even. I tell you what it is. Like yes, it's what she's saying, but it's also the tone. Like it's this tone of where is she? Listen to this tone that she gives with it. Hmm. Well, they've built themselves quite the lake. Wonder if anyone ever drowned in it. This place is a little too perfect. Something. It's a little bit. I can't tell the aliens from the animals. It's like <laughs> it's like it's like it sounds like the kind of comment that somebody would make before going, "Look, I'm not being rude, but," and then say something really rude. Do you know what I mean? It sounds yeah, very cynical. Yeah, it's very like yes it's yes it's what she's saying but it's also like the the intent that i feel is behind it with the voice acting that just gives me the gives me the creepies like it's just like i don't i don't i just i don't know maybe we could just be respectful maybe we could <laughs> but but Michelle, thank you so much for gifting us up to Commander Shepard. Thank you so much. And that's the best sub on the Citadel. Did I get the meme right? Did I get it right? Michelle, thank you so much. And TBM, thank you for the butts. Thanks for your 200 butts. Hi, Nas. I don't have time to talk now. I'm very busy. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. Anybody else? Bartender, can we get a drink? Hello, Commander. Can I get you something? I just don't really know who I can trust. <laughs> I was like, yeah, let's get a drink. Wait, can I trust this person? <laughs> you know who I am? Your arrival uh, created a bigger than average stir among the diplomats and hangers on around here. There's always something new happening around here. I could fill you in on some points of interest if you'd like. Definitely, I'll have a drink while you're at it, Mr. What's Bartender. Going on around here? Well, you found the embassies, not much going on here. Across the bridge, you'll find the bank, the Emporium, and Shaira's. 
Shairis. That's nice to say. If you need supplies, Shireris. you can try the markets one level below. Ooh. For entertainment, I try Flux or Cora's Den. Oh, oh my goodness. For entertainment? Entertainment? I wonder what kind of entertainment is on the is on Oh I don't I don't want them to tell me. Um I'm, I'm re I'm just gonna go. I don't wanna know what it is. Uh, except wait, how do I Except how do I find it? What about that drink? Should we have that drink first? Commander <laughs> the entertainment for kind, exactly. Oh what so I can't have a drink now? I it, the option to have a drink is... Goodbye. So the long, Commander. The have option to have a drink is gone. <sighs> well, there we go. Hi, friend! I'm so sorry. You're really busy doing your job. This is the same energy as when one of my good friends, who is many of my good friends, actually, who are ridiculously musically talented, um, and I could just like watch them play their instrument and I'm like, whoa, <laughs> like fascinated. I've got no idea what's going on, but I'm fascinated. This is the same energy right here. <laughs> Hi friend, can I offer you a free drink? Do you know who I am? Oh my God, I actually was that person. I actually was that. That's quite a look. Okay. All right, go on then. Um, have you ever noticed, have you ever noticed how socks plus sandals equals beard? Have you ever noticed? I'm serious. If somebody has socks plus sandals, they also have a beard. I don't make the rules, that's just how it goes. Socks plus sandals equals beard. And uh, this dude over here has just proven my point for me. This place seems strange. I wish there were more humans around. You have to be tough with these aliens. They won't respect you otherwise. This game is making me all kinds of uncomfortable. This game is making me all kinds of uncomfortable. Hello! Commander Shepard, I didn't expect to see you here. Did Ambassador Udina send you? Um, have we met before? No, but I know you well enough. I'm Executor Palin, head of CSEC. It's my job to know when someone like you arrives on the Citadel. What does that mean? Was there something you needed, Commander? Uh, can we, can we talk? Do you want to get a cup of tea? Do you take mi milk or sugar? Would you prefer a coffee? Sometimes I find that if if you sit down with a hot drink, it sort of uh, becomes less of a tense conversation. All right, let's go straight in for it, shall we? I get the feeling you're not too fond of humans. No, I just don't trust your kind. Not yet. You humans are eager to take all the power you can get, and you're being given a lot. The council wants to I make mean, that's humanity not wrong, is their it? new favorite pet. That's their business, but I don't have to like it. Have I got any other options? Let's just see what all the information the we can get. They're the right hand of the council, or so they like to be called. More like the underhanded side of the council. What do you have against the Spectres? I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law. Especially when it's left up to each individual Spectre to decide when and how to bend the rules. This is so interesting. This is so interesting. I'm going to share my thought process, right? I'm going to share, I'm going to share my, my thought process. Because when we played this last time, I was like, I don't really know how to feel about this. About the like, when it's left up to each individual spec to decide when and how to bend the rules and all of that kind of stuff. And I was trying to think, how do I feel about that? And my general consensus was, I don't have enough information about it. But I've been thinking about this, right, over the last week, and I've been trying to figure out, actually, 
would I ever have enough information about that to make a decision on whether I feel like that's all right or I could trust that? Is there any... Is there any... Is there, is there an extent, is there an amount of information that I could get and be like, that is enough information for me to completely understand exactly what I am about to base my decision on? <laughs> like, is that, would that, would I ever have enough information to be or to feel comfortable in saying yes or no and about how, what I feel about this? And actually, I don't think that there ever would be. And I think that, I am glad that I don't have to make those decisions. And I think also it it massively depends on the on the person, right? Because if it is each individual specter that makes the decision, then it is not something that I'd ever have enough information about. I'd have to know, like, very personally, each individual specter and exactly all of their history and exactly everything. And even then, like, how do we know what decision is something? Oh my god, Mass Effect, why are you frying my brain like this? Oh my goodness me! Oh my goodness me! That's why specters are chosen. They're like they're not likely make someone a specter who can't be trusted to make those decisions properly. I'm fascinated, Akila. I'm fascinated to hear if we, like, I hope we get to understand more about that in the game. Don't tell me, chat. Don't spoil it for me. But I hope we get to understand more about that decision, about how that decision is made, or why particular specters are, are, are taken. Mass Effect has a tendency to fry up. It's been doing it all week. And it's made me, like, analyze everything that I think and everything I say in this game. Because, like, it is so complicated. And it is, like, I don't feel like... Even though there are many decisions that I believe you should... Uh, with a lot of things, you should go with your gut. I also really appreciate a game that isn't completely black and white. I appreciate a game where there is so much gray area. And where there's there is this understanding of different sides even if you completely disagree with their point absolute power corrupts absolutely all right fair point tvm fair point tvm but i but i really appreciate that about a game where it's not like this is the bad guy this is the good guy i I don't know whether there even ever is going to be a clear bad guy or a good guy, but I like that as this is unfolding and as I'm learning more about what's going on here and as I'm learning more about the lore and the stories, I'm kind of understanding that it's always going to be more complicated than that's bad or that's good. And I really respect that about a game. It's brave. It's very brave to do that with a game. But I think also it's very brave to do that with a game that allows you to be a part of that. And I think that that kind of game also has quite the capacity for change and quite the capacity for like self-reflection. Because make no mistake, a lot of this really it is, it is a mirror of a lot of real world issues, right? And I think that it's constantly going to make me kind of analyze it and think and and figure out my own beliefs and is that a parallel can i hold this world in the same this is really hard to explain what i'm trying to it's really hard to put this into words um but can i can i judge this world through the same lens that i use to perceive and explore the real world around me like is that is that suitable because to me, I don't think I can see it through any other lens. I don't think I don't think it's possible for me to see it through other lens because we're all a product of our own circumstance, right? We are, we are all who we are because of our life experiences and our surroundings and our learnings and 
the things that we've been through and the all of those kind of things and that is always going to be my lens i'm never going to be able to fully understand somebody else's perspective i can talk to somebody and i can really um listen and i can learn but i can never see the world entirely through somebody else's lens just as somebody else can never see the world entirely through my lens Humble store purchase made for $59.99. Enjoy. enjoy, enjoy your Mass Effect. Whoever just bought it on Humble, enjoy your, enjoy your Mass Effect. I hope you love it. Um, and I don't think it's an excuse to, to, I don't think knowing that you can never do that is an excuse to not try. I think it's very important to say that because actually understanding other people's perspectives is a huge part of life and a huge part of, um, being the change you want to see in the world, right? And solving a lot of really complex problems. But I don't think that I am, like, I don't think it's possible to play this game without my context and my life, which is really interesting. I don't know. Anyway, thank you for listening to my TED talk. I'm not quite, hopefully some of those thoughts had some semblance of sense. <laughs> Mass Effect Ethics Simulator, right, Soul, isn't it? Isn't it? These convos are a big reason why so many of us here, Spoopy, I'm, I'm, I'm glad. It's just, it's hard to, it's hard to play this game. It's hard to play a game like this without having that conversation. And I'm also starting to understand why so many of you were like, Colo, oh, no, play this game, play this game, play this game. And why so many of you have talked about enjoying watching it from somebody else's perspective, because it really is such a personal experience. I had no idea that it was going to be a a case of I really can go and sort of do this and then do or that or just toss a coin all that <laughs> thank you Nightstorm Star for your bobs and and then I could go and do that and then I could go and do that I can make this decision I could put these points like it really is such a personalized playthrough it's starting to make a lot of sense to me why um why why it's so much fun to watch somebody else play it because that's kind of the closest that you can get to experiencing it through somebody else's world isn't it very unique player experience isn't it isn't it Peace? isn't it uh john says mass effect is often like the real world there's no such thing as the perfect choice and sometimes it's not about making the right choice it's about making the least worst choice and that's a whole conversation in itself isn't it <laughs> That's a, that's a whole other conversation in itself. <sighs> the Colo Playtime Multiplier is going to be more than the normal three times. Look, I'm I'm in. <laughs> it's going to be a long play and I'm in for it. <laughs> Hi, Tesla Coil. Can't wait to watch you later in the series. Oh, I hope you enjoy this playthrough as much as I do, chat. I really do. Um, especially when it's left up to each individual's perspective to decide when and how to bend the rules. That's my approach to parenting. I don't think there's a right choice. I just avoid the <laughs> least worst choices. Thank you for your bits, 2 p.m. Thank you. Hmm. And I think also the interesting thing is what I kind of want to do is I want to ask questions that I wouldn't ask. I want to ask options that aren't there on the wheel. And I also want to ask questions that I wouldn't ask. Like, I'm not sure that I would say that's a bit naive. But I want to say it just because I want to see what the answer is, because I want to learn what happens. But also, I'm really worried that if I say that, that's going to change the course. So I don't, I don't know what to say. Investigation. Tell me about your investigation into Saren. Sorry, Commander. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. Investigate. <laughs> if I ask them again, are they going to get Tell really me tired about, about investigation me? Investigation into Saren. Are they just going to say? Sorry, Commander. All right. I don't make a habit of giving okay. out details about right. ongoing investigations. <laughs> um. Hold on. The report is in. Mm. 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 Exclamation mark. Dot. 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 Mm. Thanks, Michelle. Folding us up for a minute here. Thank you for your bombs. <laughs> She's hooked. We can't wait to see Van the Rabbit. Yeah, I really am hooked here. Thirteen months of gingery nonsense and contemplations of life through game decisions. Such right. A joy to be here. 
Thank you, Colo, for being you and creating such a fun place to hang out. Dunk, thank you so much for the 13 months. Thank you so much. <gasps> Tomorrow, hi! And beer in the late afternoon today has been made perfect by returning to the loveliest, most wonderful person, you, Colo. Streaming. Hi, lovely. You, had forgotten. Oh, you are too lovely. sweet. Unbelievable. How was your day tomorrow? How was your day doing redacted? Thank you for your bobs, friends. Thank you. Tell me about CSEC. CSEC provides necessary police and security services throughout the Citadel. We're a civilian government agency, though many of our members have had military training. Of course, as the CSEC representative to the council, I spend most of my time liaising between the two. Okay. So, what do you know about the specters? So, if I want to know more, the counselors, so they like to be called more like the underhanded side of the council. So, if I want to know more, I have to what ask that question. I have to say it's naive. I can't abide any organization that considers itself above the law, especially when it's left up to each individual specter to decide when and how to bend the rules. I really want to know more information from Executor Palin. I wanna, I wanna know more information, and this is the only option that I have. I don't want to say this, but I want to know what I've got to say. Sometimes you have to bend the law to keep oh, people safe. Okay, all right. I've been with CSEC for 30 years. I've never had to break the law to do my job, not once. Yeah, right. You expect us to believe none of your officers are corrupt? There are over 200,000 CSEC agents. Some of them are going to be bad. But we don't turn a blind eye to corruption like the Spectres do. We do our best to find and punish any officer who breaks the law. Spectres. <laughs> They'll never come under that kind of scrutiny. All right, that's as, that's as far as I'm willing to go because I'm not going to say Spectres are important because I don't know. I don't know enough about whether they are or not. I'll be going now. Goodbye, Commander. And I, oh, I got codex. I got, I got codex. Uh, which button is it? Please don't press the wrong button. Please don't press the wrong. Yeah, she finally didn't. She, she finally didn't shoot the citadel, and she was trying to open the codex. <laughs> Let's try, everybody. We got there. Lordy. All right. Um, citadel security is a volunteer police service entering to the yeah uh, enforcement investigation customs network special response patrol. Joining CSEC is prestigious. Okay. CSEC and the Spectres are often at odds. Many CSEC members, notably current ex Executor Venari Palin? Chat, actual question. It's Palin, right? Is that how I say their name? Palin. Believe that allowing Spectres to be above the law is dangerous practice. The actions of Sarin... Arterius led credence to this position. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. Are aggravated when CSEC's uh, dedication to procedure and due process hampers their investigations. Okay. Oh, we got some more here. The oh my goodness! Specters are agents from the Office of Special right, Tactics and Reconnaissance, this. and answer only to the Citadel Council. They are elite military operatives, granted the authority to deal with threats to peace and stability in whatever way they deem necessary. They operate independently or in groups of two or three. Some are empathetic peacekeepers, resolving disputes through diplomacy. Others are cold-blooded assassins, ruthlessly dispatching problem individuals. Dispatching. All get the job done one way or another, often operating outside the bounds of galactic law. The Spectres were founded after the Salarians joined the Council. For many years, they operated in secrecy as backroom problem solvers. Only after the Krogan rebellions did their activities become publicized. Assignment of a Spectre is less contentious than a military deployment, but makes it clear that the Council is concerned about a situation. Hmm. I suppose the only place worse than an embassy to shoot your weapon is the police chief's office. Though everyone is unfazed, ha ha. Woohoo! You don't like testing the structural stability of the Citadel with ballistic investigation. Why not? Am I... Am I gonna be in trouble here? It's here. Ha! <laughs> she says. 
Uh-oh. Can I try again? Insufficient Omnigel? Oh, no! All right, so I need to... Oh, dang. But I think we can... Did that give me enough? Can I try again? Override using 25 Omni Gel? Why can't I go in? Damn, that's really annoying. couldn't get in. Can I try again? I don't know why I can't do this. I did this with no problem last time. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Oh, the following message was transmitted from an untraceable account to multiple recipients across the extranet. Further monitoring of the situation is warranted. My fellow biotic you have been selected to receive this transmission because of our shared plight. Few understand us, fewer tolerate us. We must stand together. We must build our own new world. Come, join us in the Hawking Eta Cluster. Only as one body can we right the wrongs done to our kind. Can I tell an adult? The problem is I don't even know which adult to tell because I don't know who to trust. <laughs> so should we just pretend that we didn't read it and move on? <laughs> You're the adult. Don't tell me I'm an adult, Simon. I don't want to hear it. So this is where we were before. Yeah, there's our awesome friend. Uh, so did we go through this door just yet? Plants, hello. Oh, it's nice to see them, isn't it? That's back in the bar. Do you think the bartender's gonna give us a drink if we go back now? We see over there? Was there anything over that way? No. Okay. Hi. Commander, you're here for some information? <sighs> All right. Oh, I don't remember how to get there, so tell me about tell entertainment. Tell me about Flux and Cora's den. Well, Flux Oh, I really, oh, I shouldn't have pressed it. I wanted to see place. it. Cora's den, on the other hand, well, let's just say it's livelier and deadlier all at the same time. I should go. Yes, I should go. But not the kind of I should go that the game thinks I'm talking about. I'm talking about like, we should go. Not like, uh, I should go. Goodbye. All right, let's go find some entertainment. So long, Commander. Let's go day. find out what that's about, shall we? I would like to find some entertainment, please. Uh, not you. I think we go back through this way. <laughs> Maybe I can speak to the... I can't remember their name. This Avina. Avina! Can you Welcome direct me? Welcome to Presidium me? Tourism Terminal 1. There are many points of interest here. Including the Citadel embassies and sea I'm sure I could go to the embassies first. On the far but... end of this level, you can see the Citadel Tower, where the Council meets regularly to discuss matters of interstellar importance. I'm sure that's where we're supposed to be going, but, uh, oh, right, uh, none of those. None of. None of. None of them. Goodbye. <laughs> Chat, actual Goodbye, question. And thank you for using Avena. Have a hi. You got a nice lean city. going on. Um, friends, I have an actual question. The actual question is not. Oh, hold on. 
Okay. The actual question, I'm not asking for directions. I'm asking if there is a way that I can find out. Stand by. I've already found it. Wards access Citadel Tower. Oh, I pressed a button. Uh-oh. Oh, no, that's ominous. Uh, I'm not sure I want to be here. Uh... I mean, there's good-looking trees, but... The ominous lighting. <laughs> How did you teleport so quickly? Saren's hiding something. Give me more time. Stall them. Stall the council. Don't be ridiculous. Your investigation is over, Garrus. Commander Shepard, Garrus Vakari. Oh, it's Gary! I was the officer in charge of the C-Sec investigation into Saren. It's Gary! It's like his boyfriend! This is the only thing that I know about the game. And I got ridiculed on social media because I said that the only thing that I know about Mass Effect is that my friend Psyche, go and follow her, she's delightful. Her name is Psyche Plays. You'll find her on Twitch. She's called Psyche, P-S. <laughs> Y-C-H-E. <laughs> Just had to double check that one in my brain before I said it. <laughs> this is one of her favorite games. Tall, Gary, so tall. Tall, you're so tall. Um, and I got ridiculed on social media because I said the only thing I know about this game is that my friend Psyche really loves Gary, but turns out their name isn't Gary, their name is Garrus. And now we've met them. Psyche, I met your boyfriend. <laughs> All right, okay, right, be serious. This is a serious conversation chat. <clears throat> All right. <sighs> I was the officer in charge of this C-Sec investigation. What did you find? Come across anything I should know about? Saren's a specter. Most of his activities are classified. I couldn't find anything solid, but I know he's up to something. Like you humans say, I feel it in my gut. I think the council's ready for us, Commander. Good luck, Shepard. Maybe they'll listen to you. No, I want to talk to Gary some more. You don't want to keep the council waiting. No, I do want to keep the council waiting. I want to talk to you, Gary. I hear that you're the best. And you you appear to actually believe that there are some there's something shady going on. The shady things that I saw with my own eyes. Are you sure you're not going to talk to us? Just you don't want to keep the council. Waiting. All right, worth another check. Oh, pretty. Oh, wow! Look at the reflections. Where's the light coming from underneath? Wow, that's pretty snazzy. Hi. Would you Would you like to <laughs> Would you like to help me keep the council waiting? That sounds, sounds like I'm trying to chat her up, doesn't it? That's not what I meant. <laughs> just. There's another ginger. Let's go and nod. Nod. All right. Let's let's go and do what we uh. Let's, let's just go and finish what we started. Hey, hi. Did we meet before? It's the same pose. It's the laid back. It's this laid back. That's a cute mongoose pose. That is. That is a laid back pose. Volus won't be joining the council for years. I'm not so sure. The humans are making a strong push, and you can bet the Volus will be right on their coattails if they succeed. Allowing the humans to join us is a sound strategic move. But the Volus? No. The Hanna are likely to be next, then the Elcor. The Elcor. You may be right. The Elcor. But the Hanna need to lighten up a bit first. You just don't like them because you have trouble understanding them. It is, isn't it, mongoose? That's what this is the mongoose pose. This is the mongoose pose. Much chill, such wow, as the kids would say. Is that what the kids are saying these days? I haven't got any clue. Never been very down with the kids. Uh, can I get out of here? Just double checking. Is there anything to overhear? Excuse me while I just let out my extendable ears. Uh, all right, all right, okay, I get the picture. Rear Admiral no, Kuko? I'm waiting to speak with one of the counselor's assistants. Is there anything else to overhear? Commander, 
Yes. Commander. Oh. All right. All right. Insert fellow kids meme exactly, says Spawn. <laughs> Excuse me. I didn't even wake my cat up. No, I just want to ask a couple of questions. Commander. I Lawrence, just they're teasing me with the knowledge here. Do we just have to keep climbing? Hi. The hearing's already started. Come on. Oh, what a shame we're late. Didn't see that coming. The Geth attack is a matter of some concern, but there is nothing to indicate Saren was involved in any way. The investigation Me! by Citadel Security turned up no evidence to support your charge of treason. An eyewitness saw him kill Nihilus in cold blood. We've read the Eden Prime reports, Ambassador. The testimony of one traumatized dock worker is hardly compelling proof. I resent these accusations. Nihilus was a fellow Spectre and a friend. That just let you catch him off guard. Captain Anderson, you always seem to be involved when humanity makes false charges against me. And this must be your protege, Commander Shepard. The one who let the beacon get destroyed. How? How? How are they allowed at their own hearing? Is this the investigation? The mission to Eden Prime was top secret. The only way you could know about the beacon was if you were there. With Nihilus gone, his files passed on to me. I read the Eden Prime report. I was unimpressed. How did you get the files if there was an investigation into you? I'm a human. Insults typical, insults Saren typical. Saren despises humanity. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Your species needs to learn its place, Shepard. You're not ready to join the Council. You're not even ready to join the Spectres. He has no right to say that. That's not his decision. Shepard's admission into the Spectres is not the purpose of this meeting. This meeting has no purpose. The humans are wasting your time, Counselor, and mine. Oh! <laughs> I want to say all of them. I want to say all of them. Oh! Oh, man, sure, the instinct is the last one. The instinct is definitely the last one. But I just... Oh, why are they protecting him? Why? Saren's hiding behind his position as a spectre. You need to open your eyes. What we need is evidence. So far, we've seen nothing. There is right, still we'll find one outstanding then. issue. Commander Shepard's vision. It may have been triggered by the beacon. Are we allowing dreams into evidence now? How can I defend my innocence against this kind of testimony? I agree. Our judgment must be based on facts and evidence, not wild imaginings and reckless speculation. Do you have anything else to add, Commander Shepard? should have the right to defend himself but why 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 were the files passed to immediately passed to him why was there no like period was there, was there no period of is this not the investigation are they a part of their own investigation what's going on here what's the point no you won't see the truth do you have anything else to add i cannot say no like the fi the fire in me will not let me say something as simple as no <laughs> all right well we're gonna go and find some proof then i understand that that's what you need i understand that you need proof so i'll see you later and i will i will i will swallow the fire <laughs> I will, I will swallow, I will swallow the fire. 
I will say no. I will remove myself from the situation and I will find some proof. <gasps> You've made the decision. I won't waste my breath. Sorry, I was just the sound of the fire going down that I had to just swallow. <laughs> the council has found no evidence of any connection between Saren and the Geth. Ah! Ambassador, your petition to have him disbarred from the Spectres is denied. I'm glad to see justice was served. This meeting is adjourned. <laughs> so much! I'm sorry it happened! <laughs> we have to get proof. Immediately. We need proof it right now. It was a mistake bringing you into that hearing, Captain. You and Saren have too much history. It made the Council question our motives. I know Saren. He's working with the Geth for one reason. To exterminate the entire human race. Oh, Lord. Every colony we have is at risk. Every world we control is in danger. Even Earth isn't safe. How do you know? Tell me about this history between you and Yeah, Saren. tell me. I worked with him on a mission a long time ago. Things went bad. Real bad. We shouldn't talk about this here. But I know what he's like. And he has to be stopped. What's our next step? As a Spectre, he's virtually untouchable. We need to find some way to expose him. What about Garrus, that CSEC investigator? We saw him arguing with the Executor. That's right. He was asking for more time to finish his report. Seems like he was close to finding something on Saren. I don't trust him. I do trust him. It's Psyche's boyfriend. I love Psyche with my whole heart and my whole butt. I'll talk to him. For sure! Any idea where we could find him? I have a contact in CSEC who can help us track Garrus down. His name is Harkin. Forget it. They suspended Harkin last month, drinking on the job. Oh. I won't waste my time with that loser. You won't have to. I don't want the Council using your past history with Saren as an excuse to ignore anything we turn up. Shepard will handle this. Ooh! The Captain deserves- the Captain does deserve better! I mean, I don't like it, I am on it, and the Captain deserves better, but I also agree that if the Council are using the Captain's past history, then it makes- it, it makes sense to do that. That doesn't mean that I don't think the captain doesn't deserve better. The captain does deserve better. But also, if we're trying to save the world here, we got to think about that more than anything. I'll take care of it. I need to take care of some business. Captain, meet me in my office later. Oh, God, that's what I need to talk if ever I heard one. Harkin's probably getting drunk at Cora's Den. It's a dingy little club in the lower section of the ward. Yes! That's where we wanted to go. That's where... That's where I wanted to go! Let's go! <laughs> I thought you said he was a drunken loser. Couldn't hurt to go talk to him. Just be careful. I wouldn't call him reliable. Alright, what about you and- yeah. You and Saren have a history. What happened? About 20 years ago, I was part of a mission in the Skillian Verge. I was working with Saren I know to that find name. and remove Skillian a known Verge. terrorist threat. Saren eliminated his target, but a lot of people died along the way. Innocent people. And the official records just covered it all up. But I saw how he operates. No conscience. No hesitation. He'd kill a thousand innocent civilians to end a war without a second thought. Don't make me answer this question. Have I got any other options? Maybe there's another way to find evidence against Saren. You should talk to Barla Vaughn over in the financial district. Rumor has it he's an agent for the Shadow Broker. The Shadow Broker? An information dealer. Buys and sells secrets to the Shadow highest bidder. Shadow Broker. Bit. I've heard Barla Vaughn's one of the top representatives. Oh. He might know something about Saren, but his information won't come cheap. Okay. A Shadow Broker. All right, so we have to go to Cora's <laughs> Den and we have to find a Shadow Broker. Tell me more about the Shadow Broker. He's a necessary evil of galactic politics. Buying and selling information is a part of the game. And the Shadow Broker just happens to be the best player on the field. Oh. Always sells to the highest bidder. Okay. Doesn't get involved in politics. Doesn't pick sides. A simple system, but it works. He's not a threat to anyone. Not directly. He's just a resource we can use. Or she is. Or maybe they are. 
Nobody really knows. Oh, okay, I want to go and see them. Shadow Broker. Oh, they sound really fascinating. Okay, let's go there. He sells shadows. All right, checks out TPM. I'm there. Thank you for all of your bobs and your naughty jokes, TPM. Thank you very much. He sells secrets on the seashore. Got it, Penguin. Got it. <laughs> Buff could DJ base loot well. One does not simply find that's a meme. One does not simply. Um... From the dude uh, who definitely doesn't microwave tea, by the way. Definitely doesn't microwave tea. Hello, Rolling Jukebox. Thank you so much for 21 months. Unbelievable Groundhog Day nonsense. Thank you so much, Rolling Jukebox. Welcome back. Thank you so much for your 21 months. Welcome back. Thank you. I, here's the thing. I trust Captain Anderson. I do. Like, I totally understand what it is when you come from a point of really meaning the best, but you're, but something is, is getting the better of you. Because I feel like this is what's happening with Captain Anderson right now, right? They're coming from a place of wanting the best, but the council believes that it's some other history or something that is, that is clouding. And, and like, we are all of a product of our circumstances. Of course, our past experiences with somebody is going to impact our judgment of them, right? That's just how it works. It's just, it's just how brains work. But... But I do trust them. I do trust what they're saying. Oh, maybe that's a really big mistake. Don't tell me if that's a big mistake, right? But for now, like, I just, I, I feel like I have to go with my gut here and I trust Captain Anderson. And if Captain Anderson is telling me the shadow dealer is not a threat, but it's just a resource, like a neutral resource... All right, we're going. We're going to go and do it. Uh, we're going to do it. <laughs> Tell me about Barla Vaughn. He specializes in moving large sums of money without leaving a paper trail. A financial genius doesn't do anything illegal, but he knows all the loopholes. He's got an impressive client list. Ambassadors, diplomats, specters. That's probably why the Shadow Broker uses him. Oh, okay. I should go. Yeah. Good luck, Shepard. I'll be over in the ambassador's office if you need anything else. Okay. Paragon plus two. Zen squad. Now I think that's Paragon and Renegade. So maybe I need to ask an actual question about this. I don't know what what the right way to ask an actual question about it is, though. My guess is that it's it's good and evil, sort of. It's like whether I'm making really rash decisions or saying things like "screw you, you absolute." <laughs> or whether I'm going okay I understand I feel like it's it's maybe that there will be an actual question here sometimes I'm just trying to understand I'm just trying to formulate exactly what it is that I have to ask you guys um just bear with me while I try and figure out uh, what I need to or whether I do need to ask an actual question I feel like maybe a better understanding of this is like Colo and Olog. <laughs> evil twin or not evil it's twin. Or not you microwave tea. Yes. Uh, well, then we definitely need to make sure that we don't. Please don't microwave tea. It's just an absolute travesty. Look, just, just get a kettle. Putting a cold mug of water. Every single British person is going to absolutely freak out if they haven't heard this before <laughs> but the large majority of america microwaves their tea if you didn't know this already i'm so sorry for bringing this information into your world and and sometimes it's even a cold mug of water with a tea bag in the cold mug of water and then put in the microwave
Do you know what happens when that happens? You have this like film on the top. Chat call it the flavor film. Gross. No, I'm not talking. Just, just bear in mind. I'm not talking about reheating a cuppa in the microwave. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about making a cup of tea in the microwave. Mind blowing. Mind, mind blowing. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you quote that, Moose? Of course. It upsets the balance of the universe. It absolutely unset upsets the balance of the universe. <laughs> For sure. Oh, I thought this was a PG stream. Sorry. <laughs> I thought this was a PG stream. Sorry about that. You fry your tea high, Ava. It's nice to see you. The most flavoursome of film. It's gross. Is microwave tea not normal? Definitely not, cross-eyed fish. Unbelievable. Way to destroy the experience of tea for yourself. Utterly self-defeating. Just wrong. It's just so wrong. Oh. What about microwave water then adding the tea bag? No, I don't I don't believe in that either. That's not <laughs> that's that's not a deity that I support either. Alright. Um <laughs> As far as I'm concerned, I praise the gods of tea. Not microwaved tea. Use a kettle. Boil it on the stove if you need to. Just don't put it in the microwave. All right. I don't think I'm going to ask an actual question about that. I'm just going to tell you my thought process. I think that Paragon is kind of sort of good or balanced or maybe slightly more in charge of emotions. And Renegade is more... Um, I, I don't think it's as simple as good and evil. I feel like it's maybe Renegade is a little bit... Um, maybe snappy a bit more judgmental a bit uh a bit less filtered maybe mm, maybe something like that something along those lines potentially where are uh did we get did we get kicked out or did everyone just leave everyone just decided to <gasps> If you microwave tea, would you consider it a travesty? Can I jump? Can I? No. Look. Oh, that's really beautiful. I want one. <laughs> I want one. <laughs> I want one. Would you a travesty? Yes, I would. Actually, funny you mention it, TPM. I absolutely would. <laughs> I would describe it as a travesty. The council got fed up of. Uh, tea chat and left yeah apparently so apparently they did so what's this then can i press it i guess this is where they were i don't know all right well let's go find gary and uh the entertaining place of sin i can't remember cora maybe Woohoo! okay i've bothered you all enough with my nonsense i'm off Good it's really nice to see you, TPM. Thanks for being here. It's always nice to see you. We very rarely get to see TPM these days. And it's such a joy when we actually do get to hang out with you. But when you say something like that, definitely this moment of... Oh! <laughs> Thanks for coming to see us and I hope you're doing well. Oh my goodness, TPM. Unbelievable. <laughs> Whoa! TPM, thank you so much for gifting those 20 subs. What the butts? That's so many. Thank you for gifting those 20 subs to the community. Thank you. Bye. Bye. <laughs> thank you for your ridiculousness. It's lovely to see you. Thank you for your puns. Thank you for your nonsense. Thank you for your bobs and thank you so much for gifting those 20 subs. Hey friends, welcome in. If you just got gifted a sub, enjoy your emotes. Enjoy a month of nonsense and emotes. It's lovely to have you here. I won't read your names just in case you're lurking, but have a really lovely time enjoying your emotes and thanks for spending your time with me. <laughs> thank you. Bye TVM. Oh my goodness. This chat is wild. Yeah, I know. Jacob, welcome. <laughs> They're ridiculous. Okay, um, Ward's location? Cora's den! 
shut the front door? Is this actually a first try? A gentleman's club in the wards? That's her. Um, excuse you? Whoa! What the? What? Whoa, 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 an assassin? I definitely don't have the right gun here, and I can't remember what moving them all is. Oh no. We're just gonna have to go and hope for the best. Which, which one is it to change? This one. That also wasn't the one that I was after. <laughs> I don't know which one it is. Chat, actual question. Which button is it to change your weapon? Is that the right one? This one? Oh! Oh! Is this changing the weapon for everybody though? You sabotage? Oh lord. You're just holstering and wheel drawing a weapon wheel? I have got absolutely no idea where that is. I don't know <laughs> I don't know where it is. Actual question. You can hold LB for the for the for the weapon wheel. <gasps> got it! Thank you, chat. Thank you for asking the actual question. I'm quite confident that there was a button that I was using to rotate around them. Uh, maybe that one as we go around the corner? Oh, I have to, I have to select it that way, huh? All right. Okay, 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 okay. So, is it that one? I don't know which one. Lancer, Avenger. I'm gonna change. That sounds like combat is over. Bag em and tag em. So now I'm gonna change to this one. So I can do things like get out of here. Slightly easier. Where did they go? Were they not right, like right here? They...
I see. I... I really don't want to go in with my gun drawn. <laughs> I don't... I don't want to go in with my gun drawn. This is a police of work. I don't want to scare anybody. Rex, Fizz told us to take you down if you showed up. What are you waiting for? I'm standing right here. This is Fizz's only chance. If he's smart, he'll take it. He's not coming out, Rex. End of story. This story is just beginning. Out of my way, humans. I have no quarrel with you. What was that all about? Who knows? Let's just try not to get caught in the middle. I mean, um, I, honestly, I just, I, I can't believe I'm about to say this, but I want to agree with that. What was I saying about this game not being black and white? The back rooms are private, reserved for Fist and his friends. All right. Who's Fist? Who's Fist? He owns this club, but the customers have to stay out front. This is a great voice. This is a really, really great voice. This voice is one of my favorite colors. This voice is a kind of green. It's like a really, um, it's like a, a really textured green. Uh, and it's really interesting because green voices are my favorite, but there's so many different varieties, right? And this is, this is one of my favorite colors. It's absolutely crazy. It's super textured. Um, and it's like a, a really bold green. It's like a really textured, bold, bold green. And it's beautiful. It's one of my favorite colors. It's amazing. Um, it's green for, oh, I just, <laughs> this is, now I realize that I have to explain. Yes, voices have colors for me. I actually learned through streaming that this is called synesthesia. I don't have it with, with music, I don't, notes don't have colors for me, but voices have colors for me. Um, and it's, it, it's like, it's really interesting to try and explain it, but I just thought it was something that everybody did until like a few years ago. And I mentioned something about somebody having a particular colored voice on stream and everyone was like, what? And I was like, oh, is this, is this not, not something that everybody experiences? It's not, it's not something that everybody experiences. Oh, all right. My, yeah, my voice is purple for you. Your voice is yellow. Oh my goodness, you guys, you have it too? Color always sounds ginger for me. It's really fascinating. Soap flavors is also a form of synesthesia. For goodness sake, stop it, DJ. Interestingly, DJ has a, a, vo a green voice as well, but DJ's voice is a lot darker and a lot um, a lot smoother. It's not as bump, bumpy. It's like It's like a leaf. It's like the color of a, 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 a leaf in the sunlight. Like it's really hard to explain, like a dark green leaf in the sunlight. Um, I don't know. I wanna know what color my voice is. Uh, well, I don't know, Talila, cause I don't think I've heard your voice. This dude is more musk. Yes, exactly, Naughty Pan. Yeah, he's like, he's a bit more moss-like, yeah. Like a magnolia leaf is what I understand it as. I don't know if I know what. I'm like, oh no, I do know. Yeah, you're right, DJ. It is, it is. So yeah. I'm, gosh, I'm curious about mine as well. I can tell you a few. Musapan's is grey. Um, Musapan, Musapan has a grey voice and a lot of people think that's boring and it's not at all. Grey is one of the most fascinating voices because it's more like different shades of the light. It's, I, I'm making this gesture but none of that will make sense if you don't understand what, what I mean. Which is crazy. Yours is purple, Michelle. I have heard Michelle speak. Yours is purple. Because it's a purple voice, which is amazing because your username is also purple. It's really interesting for me because, so for YouTube people on Twitch, you have colored usernames. You can, and um, sometimes you can pick your colors and you have varying colors. But it's been really interesting when I've gotten to know you as particular colors. And then I meet you when some of you don't have the same voice as you have, like your, your voice color isn't the same as your username color. That's, that's wild to me. <laughs> that's wild to me. 
um, synesthesia is fascinating, something I can't even imagine experience. I genuinely thought that every single person experienced this until, yeah, like a year ago or something. And I mentioned it. I was playing, maybe it was Skyrim. I can't remember what game I was playing. And I said something about somebody having a really beautiful colored voice. And everyone was like, Carla, what are you talking about? And I was like, do you not have that? And then chat was like, this is called synesthesia. And I was like, oh, this is a real thing. Wild, really, really wild. What color is Myrtle's voice? Oh no, okay, let's summon Moaning Myrtle. Oh, goodness me. My voice? Well, I can't say that Myrtle has synesthesia. Oh, but what I can say is that I think you're being rude to Myrtle. Because don't you know that she's a ghost? Ghosts don't have many colours about their person. Oh, he looks. Why would you make fun of Myrtle like that? Do tell. If you die down there, you're welcome to share my toilet. <laughs> Summoning Moaning Myrtle in a gentleman's club. Never thought I'd see the day. Never thought I'd see the day. Uh, yes, his voice is like moss. Thank you for the, giving me the words there. Musi, but yes, his voice is like moss. Um, the the one who I who I who who called me a woman. Does it begin with an O? I can't remember. That character early on, their voice is yellow, um, like almost it, like it's sort of with a little bit of brown in it, like a really like a dark yellow. Elcor, yeah, yeah. All right. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is it? Oh. What did that other Krogan want? Rex. Personal matter. Not real chatty, is he? Goodbye. I want more though, but <laughs> Enjoy the club. Thanks, I will. Can we talk again, please? I thought you weren't Back here. Reserved <laughs> for fist and his friends. <laughs> he couldn't resist the pun. Thank you for the. <laughs> Thank you for the soft and moss effect. All right. Goodbye. Okay, they're not going to talk to us anymore. So let's go Enjoy back. Enjoy the club. Um. Hi. Hey there, sweetheart. You looking for some fun? I gotta say, that soldier get up looks real good on that body of yours. Why don't you sit your sweet little ass down beside old Hark? Have a drink. See where this goes. I'd rather drink a cup of acid after chewing on a razor blade. You trying to hurt my feelings? You gotta do better than that. 20 years with C-Sec, I've been called every name in the book. You princess. dare call me princess. Oh man, I really need, I, re I really need this to be an effective encounter. I really, I really, I really, I really need this to be an effective encounter. And it's really not gonna be, is it? It's not gonna be, it's not gonna be an effective encounter at all. <laughs> Misogyny Simulator 101. All right, don't call me that. Princess again, you'll be picking your teeth up off the floor. Now tell me where Garrus is. Okay, okay, just relax. Garrus, you say? Mm. You must be one of Anderson's crew. Poor bastard, still trying to bring Saren down. Huh? I know where Garrus is. But you gotta tell me something first. Did the captain let you in on his big secret? Is there something I should know about the captain? The captain used to be a specter. <gasps> you didn't know that, did you? It was all very hush hush. The first human ever given that honor. And then he blew it. Oh! He screwed up his mission so bad they kicked him out. Of course, he blames Saren. Says the Turians set him up. I bet. 
I... Whoa! Whoa! I bet that's what... I mean, honestly, that makes sense. How do you Since know? I covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, might as well spread them around. No, I don't think... I don't think that is what... I don't... I have met people like this person. They do exist more frequently than you would think. You're a pig. Just noticed that now, did you? What went wrong with your life to make you end up like Why this? Why'd they kick him out? Have to ask him. I never heard any of the details, but it's a good story, though. The Heroes Fall. Classic tragedy. <laughs> you said they covered all this up. How'd you hear about it? I spent 20 years working cases here on the Citadel. People on this station love to talk. Secrets are like herpes. If you got them, I did I not. Well oh, for around. God's sake. I just. I. I just, that's not why I'm here. Just tell me where Garrus went. Garrus was sniffing around Dr. Michelle's office. She runs the med clinic on the other side of the wards. Last I heard, he was going back to Right. <sighs> right, okay. Do I dare I... God, I nearly swore. I very rarely swear on stream, but this was... <laughs> this was very nearly a swear. <laughs> Dare I ask this? Fucking hole, anything else? <laughs> uh. How well do you know Captain Anderson? Met him a few times over the years. One of those hardcore military guys. Yes, sir. No, sir. Can't have any fun with a stick up your ass, sir. That's probably why he climbed the Alliance rank so fast. The military loves brown nosers. The captain's a good soldier. Sure, whatever. Dress him in a fancy suit, pin some shiny medals on his chest, and call him a hero. Everybody else does. But if he's so great, why'd the Spectres kick him out? Why don't you go ask him about that? Can I... Okay, so we have option one, option two, or option three, punch him in the face. Oh wait, they didn't program that one in. You need to look in a mirror. Sober up and take some responsibility for yourself. Save your sermons, this ain't no church. <laughs> I actually like the rage in my stomach right now. Oh my God. I've never been this angry at a computer game before. Exactly, Soul. Thank you for gifting the sub to this guy. This guy. <sighs> what do you think would happen if I drew my gun on him? Asking for a friend. What's it like working for CSEC? You mean, what was it like? Executors suspended me without pay. <laughs> recurring violations. CSEC was keeping a file on me. Can you believe it? Yes! I definitely Every can! Every mistake I ever made went into the books. Get a little rough with a suspect, note in the file. Have a couple of drinks on duty, note in the file. Skim a couple of credits off a drug bus, note in the file. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sure, blame everybody else but yourself, don't worry. Yeah, easy if you ask me. <laughs> what the hell do you know? Working for c second like being a Marine. People get pissed off if we shoot somebody. Investigations. And nobody was surprised. Regulations. Nobody. 
Every day I plow through enough red tape to choke a rhino. That's how you gotta be to do this job. So don't talk to me about right and wrong. You soldiers got it easy. Oh, this guy! Oh, What do you know about Garrus? Damn hothead is what he is. Still figures he can save the world. Always bucking heads with the Executor. He'll pay for it soon enough. The Executor loves to put us lowly field agents in our place. Just look what happened to me. You need to look in a mirror. I have to tell so him again. We're gonna get the same do yourself. dialogue, but I can't say goodbye say on that note. This ain't no I have to tell him. Excuse me. Harkin, go f yourself. I'm out of here. Yeah, good. Go. Let me drink in peace. Oh, oh, I have never been made to feel like this by a computer game before, ever. I have never. Like, it's quite. I'm a relatively patient person. It's quite hard. It's, it's quite hard to get me riled up. It's quite hard to make me angry. I am so angry right now. I am so. I am so. So angry right now. Oh my god. Do you know what's really frustrating? Do you know what's really frustrating? There are real people like this in the world. met a lot of them mm-hmm find some l core to chill with i'd quite like to for sure i'd quite like to pretty sure if this was on one of the later games there a bit of five time shoot em option would have been available you reckon please don't tell me about the later games though having said that kind of sexist but i wonder if the guys feel the same playing the game i do actually too i do too i recently had a conversation with a friend um where i was talking um a male friend and i was talking about um after the after the stream maria i'm finally home it's cool, as you though, are so welcome home thank you so much for seven months thank you so much welcome back and welcome home swinging a tier two round in here no less maria thank you so much for the tier two thank you i um Not now. I'm watching the show. i uh go away oh you're here all right okay um, and I was talking to. <gasps> I got business here, but not with you. I love that voice. Um, and I was talking to my my male friend about after the stream, and I said that I, you know, in an ideal world, I'd go for a walk after the stream. I finished stream at half past ten, and by the time I've I've closed up everything. Well, that is a good question, Ashley. Harkin's an ass, but he's just messing with our heads. You're probably right. Still, I'd like to hear what the captain has to say about all this. Yeah, me too. Um, wait, wasn't there a quick travel? No, it was this way. Um, and I was saying the ideal thing would be if I could, I'd, I'd really like to go, go for a, go for a walk in the, in the old, in the old days when my bod was capable of doing it, go for a run. Um, but, uh, but unfortunately it's not possible and I kind of had to explain to them that even though I, I, live in a area that I feel safe in there's only a very specific route that I would take and actually it's not the footpath route it would be on the road because it's more lit and less secluded and it would be a quick walk around and also I'd do things like I'd wear a hat to hide the fact that I've got hair in a in a in a ponytail and um uh and make sure that I was kind of dressed as androgynously as possible and with as much high visibility stuff as, as I possibly could, make sure I don't have a bag or anything that could be particularly identifying and I, go to the point where I'd have to take so many precautions that actually it's not really worth it and I wouldn't really enjoy the fresh air to do it with. And I had this conversation and it was really eye-opening to them because they said, well, you know, if you don't, if you don't, if you don't feel safe, then you could just move. And I was like, that's not the answer you know, I would deserve to feel safe wherever I am. And I'm not particularly worried about my immediate area. It's just that that's always something in the background. Um, interesting, really interesting. 
<clears throat> move where the moon right sounds like it's more stressful to do that it is for sure it is for sure and it's it's a really it's a really interesting one because whenever i have kind of mentioned this to a male friend and they'll say sometimes people will say oh you've just you know you've met the wrong people or something like that but i think what's really hard to translate and unless it's something that you feel constantly or unless it's something that you're um that you've experienced or that you know that you have a loved one that's experienced it's not about that it's about that there is a risk and unfortunately we do live in a world where if something did happen to me there would be so many people who would go well why was she out at 11 o'clock midnight why was she out walking on her own in the dark in midnight like why would like why would you do that and it's so it's it's this really really complex set of decisions um and that that man in there that person whoever it was that we were just speaking to in mass in, in mass effect that person that sit on my lap sweetheart like that that's a whole thing to i don't know that's a whole thing that's really uncomfortable to discuss and talk about and it's also very interesting because some of my best friends in the whole world are guys and so it's it's not about that either but it's just about knowing that if your risk is if you if your safety could potentially be at risk you would need to take every possible option to keep yourself as safe as possible and uh, kind of communicating that experience and communicating that that's like a daily decision like that's a daily factor um, because my friend who I was having this discussion with, with was, well, if it's going to help you, why don't you just do it? If you, if it's going to help you, if you're going to enjoy, go, why don't you just go? And I was like, it's a, it's a bit more complicated than that. So it's a really interesting discussion to have about that, um, for sure. Uh, I did see two TikToks about this already. When walking to the grocery store in the middle of the day, as well as uh, women working as truckers and truck stops. Yeah, for sure, for sure. Is England generally that unsafe for women? Um, I, I don't think it's an England problem. Um, I think it's a relatively universal problem and it's not my, uh, it's really hard to explain this. It's not my, uh, it's not the area that I live in. I do feel safe living here, but it's not about the area. It's about a constant level of slight terror. <laughs> it's the only way to put it really where you just have to constantly make your make sure you're taking all of the right measurements and all of the right steps um, to be the least vulnerable that you possibly can be. Mm. Sit on my lap, sweetheart, just gave me the heebie-jeebies and if you say that around me, we're gonna have a conversation about it and you won't like what I have to say. Yeah, and it's really hard because if somebody <laughs> says that to you, you can't challenge it. I always figured that as an upper middle class, white, ostensibly Christian, straight male living in the US, I would do well to listen to people who don't check any number of those boxes. Thank you, TPM. Yes. <laughs> yes, definitely. Thank you for that. I thought you weren't here, damn it. And I think, oh, that's a really good way of putting it, Sadie. People constantly remind you in small ways you have to fear them. It's hard to explain. It is hard to explain. It's very hard to explain. Um, but when somebody says something like that, like, sit on my lap, sweetheart, you can't really do anything about it or at least it feels like you can't do anything especially if you're on your own because to challenge that or to say don't talk to me like that puts you in even more of a vulnerable situation and actually the best thing to do is just ignore it and move on but if you ignore it and move on then it never gets challenged and that attitude never changes so it's this constant balance of how do I keep myself safe while also making it clear that that's really unacceptable behavior? And it's very, it's a fascinating thing to be talking about. And it's very hard to talk about as well, actually. Like I feel very anxious talking about it now. Um, I made a vow when I was younger and had friends who were not very nice in that way. I vowed to always stand up to people like that as much as I can. And, uh, and you did, and DJ has, I can attest to that. Thank you, DJ, uh, for being somebody who did stand up and make sure that I felt safe at a convention when there was a moment when DJ immediately picked up that something was going on there and that I, I, I wasn't feeling particularly safe and just took all the steps uh, to make sure that I was. And uh, it's something that I will never forget, for sure. <clears throat> 
Yeah. There's a certain area in my capital I never walk after a certain time of day alone because uh, as a woman, I know the risk is higher for something to happen or run into certain people. Mm. Uh, I know that you can't challenge it. That's why I will do it. So maybe as a different future woman, that's awesome. Tilduri, that is really awesome. Um, and I, I hope for a day where nobody has to challenge it because it doesn't exist. Um, and it's a tricky one. It's a really tricky one to navigate. It's a really tricky one to talk about, especially so publicly. And it's very interesting that I'm having a conversation about making sure that I'm always putting myself in the least vulnerable position possible while talking very vulnerably and very openly on the internet to a lot of people about being scared for safety. Like, <laughs> there's, there's a very, there's a lot to unpack there, is there not, chat? <laughs> a lot to unpack there all right i'm gonna move on i'm gonna move on if you don't mind everybody hello there welcome to moreland's famous shop <laughs> you want many good supplies yes yes let me see what you have oh you will be pleased i think very good things i have you will see oh Well, it's all very expensive. <laughs> Increases maximum units of Medigel by one. That I can store? I feel like that's a good thing to buy, but I also feel like I have absolutely no idea. I also feel like I have absolutely no idea what I'm supposed to do there. Uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna opt out of this right now and because I'd prefer to see some more story, please. Hi, please speak to me with your beautiful voice. Or not. There's a shady corner over here. Do we? Oh, it's up here. I think we we got straight into that bit, didn't we? Um. Yeah. yeah I'm just gonna go for the travel. I'm just gonna go to the. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna. Awards locations. Med clinic. Wonderful. I don't mean to alarm you, but I don't think I've got lost yet. I don't think I've... View of Nebula? <gasps> what? Well, well, I was... I, I wanted to observe. Were you going to show me something? I, I mean, it's really beautiful, but I thought they was going to give me a cinematic or something. Holy butts, that's cool. Holy buds, that's cool. Okay. Who can we talk to? Can I walk on this? Damn. I wanted to see all the way down there. Damn! To med clinics. Welcome to the wards. To markets and Cora's den. To all right. So we we need to go this way. Uh, to C sec. No. Oh, I'm just not sure if I'm. Med clinic door. Ah. Oh. I didn't tell anyone. I swear. That was smart, Doc. Now if Garrus comes around, you stay smart. Keep your mouth shut, or we'll... who are you? Let her go. Ah! 
Finally, some action! Thing that I had to shoot on the floor there? Looked like something that I had to shoot on the floor. What's this? Perimeter clear. Fire containment system. Okay. Perfect timing, Shepard. Gave me a clear shot at that bastard. Nice shot. Uh... Clean. Sometimes you get lucky. Dr. Michelle, are you hurt? No, I'm okay. Thanks to you, all of you. Who are those Why men? Why were they threatening you? Who do they work for? They work for Feast. They wanted to shut me up, keep me from telling Garrus about the Quarian. What Quarian? A few days ago, a Quarian came by my office. She'd been shot, but she wouldn't tell me who did it. I could tell she was scared, probably on the run. She asked me about the Shadow Broker. She wanted to trade information in exchange for a safe place to hide. Then what? I put her in contact with Fist. He's an agent for the Shadow Broker. Not anymore. Now he works for Saren. And the Shadow Broker isn't too happy about it. Fist betrayed the Shadow Broker? That's stupid, even for him. Oh. Saren must have made him quite the offer. That Quarian must have something Saren wants. Something worth crossing the Shadow Broker to get. Evidence? What else could it be? She must have something that proves he's a traitor. Did the Quarian mention anything about Saren or the Geth? She did. The information she was going to trade. She said it had something to do with the Geth. She must be able to link Saren to the Geth. There is no way the Council can ignore this. Oh my god, I hope she's okay. We need to find her. Time we paid Fist a visit. This is your show, Shepard. But I want to bring Saren down as much as you do. I'm coming with you. Um... I mean, sure you can come with me, okay? But also, why do you hate Saren? <laughs> you want to bring him down. I couldn't find the proof I needed in my investigation, but I knew what was really going on. Saren is a traitor to the Council, and a disgrace to my people. Okay. Welcome aboard, Garrus. <laughs> okay. You know we aren't the only ones going after Fist. The Shadow Broker hired a Krogan bounty hunter named Rex to take him out. Yeah, we saw him in the bar. Wait. Wait, what did he just say? A cr who are they? Chat, actual question. Who did we see in the bar? Who is the him that they're talking about? Are they talking about that asshole that we saw in the bar? The one who asked me to sit on his lap? Green voice guy? Oh! We could use the him. Might come in handy. Sure, thank you, everybody. Last I heard he was at the CSEC Academy. What's he doing there? Fist accused him of making threats. We brought Rex in for a little talk. If you hurry, you can catch him at the academy before he leaves. Move out. Uh. <gasps> uh. Yes! Oh my goodness. Is this the, gr is this the green voice, dude? Is that the, is that the 
the green voice dude that's standing next to Garrus. Can I have the green voice? Oh my god, I can have the green voice dude at my party. <gasps> Except squad. Health, yeah. Do we not even say goodbye to Ashley? She just went. Bye, Ashley. That's it. I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. I don't have anything else to say. <laughs> I feel like I've been so divisive with my treatment of Ashley, but I just don't have any room in my life for that tone that she had. Holy what? No, thank you. We are a place of respect. All right. I never properly thanked you for saving me from Fist's thugs, Commander. I don't know what would have happened if you hadn't been there. Um. Happy to help. I'm just glad you weren't hurt. Yeah, I am. That is doing? true. Now, was there anything you needed? Let's ask a You're personal a question. How did you end up here on the Citadel? My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Can I ask her another one? You're a doctor. How did you oh, end up here on the It's the same one. My parents brought me here when I was young. My father was a medic with the Alliance. I chose to keep the medical tradition alive, but not the military. Fixing up wounded soldiers isn't my idea of fun. Let me take a look at what you have for sale. Of course. Well, oh, whoa, medical exoskeleton? Shut the fridge door. Are you kidding me? A medical exoskeleton? I forgot that I'd muted alerts. Sorry, I muted alerts when we went into this room and forgot to unmute them. MDV, thank you so much for paying forward that gift from Sherbez. Hey, Sherbez, if you're still here, look at that. Thank you. Thank you so, so much. Hey, Keeks, Keeks, enjoy your sub. Thank you, MDB, for paying that forward. So super kind of you. All right. Um, so we can come to her for medical supplies. This is what we have learned. Off to have lunch with a friend. Bye, Talila. Take care. Thank you for your gay bit. See you later. Thank you so much. Have a lovely lunch. Lovely lunch. That's quite nice to say. Like parallelogram. Lovely lunch. Parallelogram. Also food. Very delicious. I'm hungry. What time is it? Holy butts! It's 10 to 10. Unbelievable. Um... Well, I don't know where we're going, but hopefully the Citadel Apple Trap Rap Rap Rap. rap. <laughs> Nailed it. <laughs> Cora's dead. No, we don't want to go back there. Or do we? Do we have to go back and see that dude? I think I can't remember where they said he was. Proceed down the stairs to reach the wards. I do we maybe we have to go back and see them again in Cora's den. I think that I I I think I have I've have slept since then. I haven't slept since then. <laughs> I'm partial to Melange and Soliloquy. Soliloquy is a great one. TPM, thank you for your bits. The TPM who obviously isn't here, as we know. <laughs> TPM is uh just an illusion. Oh uh, no wait, it's not that one. Up the stairs. Thank you for your bit. Uh, it's also not that way. <clears throat> so what was I saying about uh, being really pleased about not getting lost? <laughs> That'll be this one just here then. Hurry up, we go. Does anybody have a map? <laughs> Looks like it shut down. Does anybody have a map? Oh no, Lord, oh Lordy me.
Is there somebody else up there? You all right, squad? Whoa! What just happened? That's it. Bag him and tag him. Was that the green voice, dude? Chat, actual question, was this green voice, dude? Actual question? Yes, no, yes, no, no. Uh, not the one you mean. All right, okay. Same race, different individual, all right. Can we just, should we just hop over the bar and make ourselves a drink while we're here? I mean... <laughs> I mean... I feel like I've missed something. I feel like I really must have missed something here. now stop right there don't come any closer warehouse workers all the real guards must be dead stay back or we'll shoot I just killed 50 bodyguards to get in here. What do you think I'll do to you? Uh, well, uh, uh screw Fist. He doesn't pay us enough for this. I would have never thought of that. Shooting people isn't always the answer. Well done, Gaiden. I wonder where all the dancers went. <laughs> some new weapons uh should we do do we do that now maybe the, the more i do it the more i recovered ammo upgrade cool okay uh take all sure why not um 160 accuracy to uh quit Let's see what we can give Caden. 144, 3, 19. It's a lot more damage, isn't it? What about Garrus? I'm a potato. Woot woot me. D4, 15. And. Hey Desert, welcome back. Thank you so much for nine months. Thank you. Welcome back. All right, so if we give... I'll give that one to Karis. I don't know if I'm making the right decisions here. Four fifty-seven. Well, that seems right to me. Give that to Garrus. Um. Oh man, that's much better. Hey. Four ninety-one. <laughs> so we all have the same one. I'm gonna be selfish and give it to myself. 
light armor human. I mean, I've got a lot quicker at this, so <laughs> there's that. I think the armor that I had before, I'm not sure they could use. Oh, so, so Garrus can't have any of those, but Caden can. All right, I think maybe that's it. I'm doing it. We're going for it. That's it. It's happened. I feel like I should have my gun out for this. I'm going to be totally honest with you. quite confident that I have some kind of like thing that I threw. Ah, it's so loud! I'm really sure that I had a thing that I threw. Wait! Don't kill me, I surrender! Start talking. Tell me where the Quarian is and I won't have to shoot you in the kneecaps. She's not here, I don't know where she is, that's the truth. He's lying. Ooh! Okay. You better start explaining before I lose my time. <laughs> the Quarian isn't here. Said you'd only deal with the Shadow Broker himself. Impossible. The Shadow Broker only works through his agents. Nobody meets the Shadow Broker. Ever. Even I don't know his true identity. But she didn't know that. I told her I'd set a meeting up. Uh oh. When she shows up, it'll be Saren's men waiting for her. Give me the location. Now. Here on the wards, the back alley by the markets. She's supposed to meet them right now. You can make it if you hurry. Am I supposed to just forget your part in all this? Hey, I came clean. I told you about what the do meeting. What do about him? Besides, I've got my own problems now. The Shadow Broker wants me dead. I have to disappear. Forget about me. <laughs> Am I too soft for this game? Like, I can't possibly kill this dude. I can't. Am I just too soft for this game? I would not be very good in the military, would I? You're not my concern. Don't worry, you'll never see me again. We better not. Better not. Okay. Uh, oh no, am I? Is this is quick. Uh, optical storage. Good. Quarry lost. Me. Oh my god. No, 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 no. Oh my god. I'm on a timer. Oh, 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 how do I know where to go? Oh no. No, 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 no. Ha, 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 ha. No, I don't like it. I don't like it at all. How do I know where to go? Oh god. Nope, don't like it, don't like it at all, don't like it at all. Um... going where am i supposed to go i don't know where i'm supposed to go this way i don't know where i'm supposed to go can i run the butts is going on here ah! oh man i'm really stressed 
and I'm going to be really upset if I can't find this. Uh, maybe there's something in my journal. I'm hoping this pauses. Chat, actual question. When I come up here into Mission Computer, does it pause the timer? Actual question. It does? <sighs> All right, okay, maybe if I look at my journal, it's gonna give me a clue, because I was too busy trying to figure out what to do with that. Um, <sighs> I, was too, I was too busy trying to figure out what to do with that dude. Oh no. <laughs> Expose Siren, save the Korean. Uh, set a trap, you have to get to the, uh, the alley before they kill her. markets zoom out I can't zoom out fists office lower markets what's this citadel rapid transit what's that moreland store upper markets I don't even know if I'm supposed to know where I'm going No? No. I can't fast travel. <gasps> Did you bring it? Where's the shadow broker? Where's Fist? They'll be here. Where's the evidence? No way. The deal's off. trust him you okay were you hurt in the fight i know how to look after myself not that i don't appreciate the help who are you a friend my name's shepherd i'm looking for evidence to prove saren's a traitor then i have a chance to repay you for saving my life but not here we need to go somewhere safe okay the ambassador's office it's safe there they will want to see this anyway okay can i give you a hug no, not an option. Making my life easy, Too Shepard. soft for this game. Firefights in the wards, an all-out assault on Korra's den. Do you know how many... Who's this? A Quarian? What are you up to, Shepard? Oh, can I tell him to shop? I really want to tell him to shop. I would never do that in real life. I would never be like, shut up and I'll tell you. What I would say is, she can help us. But today, I'm gonna tell him to shut up! <laughs> this quarry can help us bring down Saren. I would have told you that if he hadn't jumped down my throat. I apologize, Commander. This whole thing with Saren has me a bit on edge. Maybe we should just start at the beginning, Miss... My name is Tali. Tali Zora Naraya. We don't see many Quarians here. Why did you leave the flotilla? I was on my pilgrimage. My rite of passage into adulthood. This is a really interesting voice because it's this kind of like two two colors because it's sort of at two different pitches. It's really fascinating. Sorry, um, uh, all of it. I've never heard of this before. It is a tradition among my people. 
When we reach maturity, we leave the ships of our parents and our people behind. Alone, we search the stars, only returning to the flotilla once we have discovered something of value. In this way, we prove ourselves worthy of adulthood. Something of value? What kinds of things do you look for? Information? It could be resources like food or fuel, or some type of useful technology, or even knowledge that will make life easier on the flotilla. Through our pilgrimage, we prove that we will contribute to the community, rather than being a burden on our limited resources. Oh, that's really interesting! That's really interesting. I struggle with this idea of if you can't, if you can't contribute, you are a burden because I feel like people can contribute in different ways and I don't think that we need to be productive. <laughs> like, if I would have failed this mission, right? If I was, if I was set, set off to go and find something productive and to be a productive human being and bring back something of value in my mid-twenties, <laughs> early mid-twenties, I would have failed that heckin' mission, right? But I, I don't know, man. That's really tricky, isn't it? But I like that the that they're saying that the value isn't necessarily like it's not necessarily about weaponry. It's not rep necessarily about resources. It also could be knowledge, and I appreciate that they value that. Um. Okay, continue. Tell us what you found. During my travels, I began hearing reports of Geth. Since they drove my people into exile, the Geth have never ventured beyond the Vale. I was curious. I tracked a patrol of Geth to an uncharted world. I waited for one to become separated from its unit. Then I disabled it and removed its memory core. I thought the Geth fried their memory cores when they died. Some kind of defense mechanism. Oh, stand by, Captain. I've got a whole load more questions for you. I forgot you were here for a minute. I just... We we got to have a word about uh, how you used to be a spectre, apparently. Some asshole <laughs> told me, but anyway. How did you manage to preserve the memory core? My people created the Geth. If you're quick, careful, and lucky, small caches of data can sometimes be saved. Most of the core was wiped clean, but I salvaged something from its audio banks. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. That's Saren's voice. This proves he was involved in the attack. He said Eden Prime brought him one step closer to finding the conduit. Any idea what that means? The conduit must have something to do with the beacon. Maybe it's some kind of Prothean technology. Like a weapon. Wait, there's more. Saren wasn't working alone. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. Who is that? And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. Who's that? I don't recognize that other voice, the one talking about Reapers. What are they? Are they some kind of new alien species? According to the Memory Core, the Reapers were a hyper-advanced machine race that existed 50,000 years ago. The Reapers hunted the Protheans to total extinction, and then they vanished. At least, that's what the Geth believe. Sounds a little far-fetched. I don't think it is. Vision on Eden Prime. I understand it now. I saw the Protheans being wiped out by the Reapers. I'd forgotten about that. The Geth revere the Reapers as gods, the pinnacle of non-organic life, and they believe Saren knows how to bring the Reapers back. The Council is just going to love this. I don't think they will believe it. This is a lot to handle. They might just ignore everything we, we need tell more. Them. No matter what they think more. about the rest of this. Those audio files prove Saren's a traitor. The captain's right. We need to present this to the council right away. What about her? The Quarian. My name is Tali. Yeah, she's got a name for goodness sake, Kane. You saw me in the alley, Commander. 
You know what I can do. Let me come with you. thought you were on your pilgrimage. The pilgrimage proves we are willing to give of ourselves for the greater good. What does it say about me if I turn my back on this? Saren is a danger to the entire galaxy. My pilgrimage can wait. Join us, Sol. take all the help I can get. Do I have to kick someone out Thanks. of my party now? <laughs> you won't regret this. Anderson and I will go ahead to get things ready with the council. Take a few minutes to collect yourself, then meet us in the tower. I love them the most. This is what my decision is based on. I love them the most. That's it. If you think that this is a tactical decision, you are sorely wrong. <laughs> if you think that this is this is a deep balancing <laughs> of anything, you are wildly mistaken. <laughs> I just like them the most. Come and be in my gang. Let's go. Hi, friends. Oh, this is great. It's really interesting. It makes me wonder if um, they picked the voice for this. How do I say her name? Talisora Naraya. Is that right? Um, it, it makes me wonder if the voice the voice profile or concept or voice artistry was done before the colors were finalized because i mentioned earlier you, you i saw in chat that you were asking about voice colors so i I'm kind of trying to explain this her voice is really difficult because it's two different pitches so much empty space a thousand of my people could live here and hardly even see each other and it's really interesting because they're both kind of like also metallic -y. um but, but together, so there's like two individual colors that I can't quite discern, but together they make a very similar color to, to the one on her, on, on her hood, headscarf, this purpley color. It's a very similar color to that. So I'm wondering if it, if that, if maybe like, I mean, I don't know, different people see different voices in different colors as well, but I'm just kind of wondering if it was designed if there was someone with synesthesia working on the team if they if they saw it the same if it's just fascinating isn't it it's fascinating um i don't even know where we're going right now what's this <gasps> i like these i like these i like these captain hendrickson Alliance patrol report? Okay. Captain Hendrickson reported some unusual energy readings during a patrol of the Argos Row Cluster. She had particular concerns about the Hydra system, but was recalled before her team could investigate further. No patrols are scheduled for that sector. Do we want to send in a recon team? Captain Hendrickson, I don't know if we've... Argos Row. There's so many names, I just... I, I'm not even sure if I would remember if we had already seen that person before. I don't know. Tundra Badger, thank you for your... Oh, it's Tundra Badger! It's TPM who's still here! TPM, thank you for your bobs. <laughs> um, alright, let me just unmute alerts for a sec. I don't really know where I'm going. Maybe we should, maybe we should look at our journal? God, bloody love this game, chat. Go to the Hydra system in the Argus Row Cluster. Mm, I don't want to do that just yet. The re a reporter. 
It could make a good story. A reporter might be interested in the OSD containing Fist's illegal activities. It could make a good story. Do I want to do that? I think so. I think the more people that know about it, the less likely he's gonna undisappear, if you see what I'm saying. So where would I find a reporter? You should be there when the ambassador presents the Koreans. Oh yeah, we should definitely do the main quest line, shouldn't we? <clears throat> we should. We should. Excuse me, Commander Shepard. Could you spare a moment of your time? Sure, hi. Friends, look, sandals, socks, beard. I'm telling you, socks plus sandals equals beard. Commander Shepard, my name is Samesh Patia. Hi. Forgive the intrusion, but I have nowhere else to turn. Okay, I'm listening. What do you need? My wife was a Marine. She was in the 212 on Eden Prime. I have requested that my wife's body be returned to me for cremation, but the military has refused my request. I'll help. I can put in a word with the embassy and speed things along. It's the easiest, yes, the I'll help all I've done. My case is Mr. Bosker. When I last saw him, he was in the expensive bar over there. Okay. Thank you for your time. I just want to give my wife a proper funeral and the respect she deserves. Yep, I get that. We'll do it. We can help. We will absolutely help do that. Uh, where's the expensive bar? Is that the one up here? Look, I'm sorry, Ambassador, but you're going to have to wait. Um, I said I'd help this man. So I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. Um... That's the Elcor diplomat. Uh, it's not Palin, but... What can I do for you now? We'll say hello anyway. No, we won't. Oh, Tell me about your investigation into Sam. I don't think Quest is going to give us sorry. anything else. I don't make a habit of giving out details about ongoing investigations. I understand, Palin. I understand. Now? Goodbye, Commander. Uh, where's the bar? It's around here somewhere. This one? Yeah, here it is. Bosca, hi. My goodness, you're Commander Shepard. Your activities made for quite a briefing in the diplomatic corps. Is there something I can do to assist you? Yes. A man named Samesh Bhatia is having some trouble claiming his wife's body. Ah, Mr. Bhatia. A good man in an understandably frustrating position. I wish I could help him. And why can't you? Serviceman Nirali Bhatia died on Eden Prime, as Mr. Bhatia no doubt told you. Her wounds are inconsistent with any type of weapon damage we've seen before. That is why her body is being held. You think that her body might be dangerous or contaminated? No, Commander. Nirali Bhatia is not dangerous. Her body is in fact extremely valuable to the Alliance. The tests we're conducting may lead to better defenses against Geth attacks. Respectfully, Serviceman Bhatia may save more lives in death than she did in life. Have you told this? Have you told Samesh? Does Samesh know this? I'll tell Samesh. Next time you cut up a dead soldier, at least tell her husband the truth. Yeah! That was just the reaction we were hoping to avoid, Commander. But if you think it will help, tell yeah. Mr. Batia the truth. Perhaps he will understand. Please I let me know if you have any other questions. I hope you're telling me the truth. My dude, I hope you've told me the truth, sir. Because I'm about to go and relay that to this man. And if you've lied to me, I'm going to be very upset. <clears throat> Did she just run away from me? It's okay, I'm not going to hurt you. Hello, Commander. Has any progress been made with Mr. Bosker? Will he return my wife's body? Can I say anything else? There's a problem. No, I want to explain to him. I want to say the thing about how his wife might save more lives. I just think so many problems can be solved by just communicating. This man who just loves his wife and wants to give her the respect and duty that she that she deserves to give her a proper burial, right? But he doesn't he doesn't know what's going on. And that's incredibly disrespectful. But 
They're running tests and there's a problem? Neither of those things are ways to broach this conversation. What I want to say is, hi Smash, I spoke to him and he told me that actually the way that your wife died is something that we've not seen before and actually what she's helping us to do, even though she's passed now, what she's helping us to do is to protect more people. She's helping us to understand what this kind of attack is and how we can save more people and how we can we can protect people better so the same thing doesn't happen to other people. And I don't know why he didn't tell you that. And he should have done. But that's what I found out. There's a problem. That ain't it, Chief. They're running tests. That ain't it, Chief. It's not as simple as I'd hoped. The military needs your wife's body for important tests. Tests? They're holding my wife's body for tests? My wife served the Alliance faithfully. She gave her life for humanity. And this is how they repay her. What if that other dude lied to me? If that other dude lied to me, I will kill him. Mr. Bacha, your wife died defending humanity. We still need her help. What right does the military have to hold her body? She's already given her life. I'm gonna ask what would she want? And I hope that this line is de delivered in a way like, what do you think she would want us to do? Not like, what would she want? Do you know what I mean? If the military had asked your wife to submit the test to save human lives, what would she have said? It doesn't matter. She's dead. I just want her to come home. I miss her so much. Let them run their tests. Let my wife save lives so that others are spared the loss I feel today. Goodbye. Thank you for finding me answers. I feel like what I did is only the right thing to do if this dude didn't lie to me. And that's why I came back to talk to him. Why would he lie? Good question. 
I think this game is inspiring a, a sense of distrust in me. That's the best way that I can answer that question. That was a hard quest. That seems like quite something to fabricate, though. And my god, I believed it. Like, the way he said it, he was like, ah, oh, well, actually, this is why. And also, he... He... He greeted me with respect, so... I think his greeting, coupled with the fact that actually it's a... Quite a complicated lie. If it was a lie, it's a, compl it's a complicated lie. So why would he tell it? I think in order to be able to move on from this quest... I need to... just come to an understanding with myself that he wasn't lying and I did the best I could to comfort a grieving man some of you some of you who were new here might not know this but whenever there are themes of grief in a game I get hit especially hard um I I lost my best mate several years ago now And whenever I encounter somebody in a game that's grieving, it hits me just that little bit harder than anything else. Because it makes me go, what would I think if his body was held? What would I do? How would I feel? How would I want somebody to tell me that this is what it was? And so I don't know, I don't know how this comes across, and sometimes it's hard to tell. But there will always be a moment when we play a game that has something about grief in it. Something about processing grief, about loss. There will always be a moment where it hits me just that little bit harder than the rest of the game. And I think that's probably about all I have the emotional spoons to talk about in terms of that today. But maybe a little bit of context. And sometimes when I talk about this, people say, hey, I, I kind of understand that because when I find games with this, ver this particular theme, it really hits me harder. And this is a bit like we were talking about earlier. We were talking about, is it okay for me to judge this game and the world of this game, which is so similar and yet so different to the world that we live in? with with my real world hat on or should i just completely suspend that should i take that hat off and find a new one to put on for this but actually i don't think it's a hat i think it's my brain i don't think it's something i can take off i don't think i can see it through through any any other scope these are the eyes that i have to see it through with um so i don't think i can change that and i think this is this is part and parcel of it for sure um thank you simon Goof never truly goes away. It lurks in the background most of the time. It's less acute, but sometimes it comes back and it's still very sharp. It is. And there's not a day that goes by that I don't miss my buddy. Um, and I Get think I do You're take... Oh, PB! Hello! Oh my goodness! Look, speaking of people who have emotional connections with video games and play them with their whole heart and their whole soul. Hello, Pumpkinberry. I love you so very much. Hello. Hi, Raiders. Welcome. It's so nice to see you. Hi, everybody. Hey, peeps. How are you? What were you doing today? Friends, if you don't know Pumpkinberry, you are absolutely doing it wrong. She is so wonderful. I love her with my whole heart 
and my whole bot, she's great. Um, she also loves space very much. In fact, I know her because uh, because of Elite Dangerous. I know her through playing Elite Dangerous. Um, and she plays all kinds of things. She plays horror on Fridays. She is the most incredible narrator uh, that you would like. Oh my goodness, she's just the best storyteller. I just, uh, it's unbelievable. Go and see her. Um, she's part of Table Story as well. Uh, uh, she defines her role there as a narrator, but you might be more familiar with the term GM. Um, but I think just go and see what she does and you'll understand why narrator is the right term for her, okay? <laughs> you'll understand it. You'll understand it. Please go and say hello to her. Weasel Boy, thank you so much for gifting that sub to peeps. Thank you. Hello, everybody. It's nice to meet you. Um, If we haven't met before, hi, I'm Golo. Uh, let me just introduce you to what happens in my world. Mostly this, the grumpiest cat in existence. Her name is actually Pumpkin. Hi, gorgeous. This is pumpkin. Less than three. Warlock, thank you so much for the 21 months. Welcome back. Welcome back. Welcome in. Um and uh and I I play a whole bunch of things. I love I also love space. I love open world adventures. I like games with really big feels, which is what we're just talking about right now. I also like cute, cute and comfy, cozy games. Like I've played Pokemon and Stardew Valley and things like that too. So we play a whole variety of stuff here, but we have a massive emphasis on community and some community bonding time. Um, and uh, right now I am playing Mass Effect for the first time. Well, technically it's the second time that I'm playing Mass Effect because this is day two of my very first Mass Effect playthrough. This is, uh, this is the remastered edition. Um, and we're starting with Mass Effect 1. I really don't know anything about the game, so my experience is, what, like six, six, seven hours, something like that so far? Um, and it is completely help-free, hints-free playthrough. So we've we've just done a really kind of, uh, like, heart-wrenching quest um, that, that just sort of sparked us talking a lot about a lot of emotions and a lot of feels. Thank you so much, everybody, for all of these follows. It's so lovely to meet you. What was Peeps doing today, everybody? Please tell me uh, what your favorite thing about PB stream was today, friends. I would love to hear it. Heavy feels during PB stream today. Look, chat, if you enjoy the kind of conversations that we've just been having about this kind of dilemma and about this sort of real life understanding and like processing feelings and, and figuring that out, you will you will love Pumpkinberry. Go see her. Go see her. Yasuka, like a dragon. Cool. <laughs> Sending kids to law schools. <laughs> Like a dragon is great fun. The friends we made along the way. Shipping. It's always shipping in PB streams. Her reactions to all the cutscenes was the best parts by far. Oh, peeps. I can't wait to come and see you soon. It's so it's so rare that I get to catch a PB stream recently. Hopefully. Hopefully soon. I hope soon. Um, please don't feel bad if you have to raid and run, peeps. We, we get it. Look after yourself. Thank you so, so much for bringing your community over. It's lovely to meet you, everybody. It's, love to, it's lovely to meet you, everybody. Um, we are going to go back. We're going to go back in because we're kind of at a point where I think I have to go and see the ambassador. I'm not really sure how entirely this works. Do I have to go to the tower? Let's find out. Let's see what's going on here. Um, this. Uh, no, not that one. Yeah. Oh, this is it. This is this is what we did. <sighs> so hard. Uh, find the commune. This one. Expose Siren. This one. Return to the tower. The Citadel's tower. All right. That's where we're going. To the tower. To the wall. <laughs> TBM. Thank you for gifting. <laughs> Thank you for gifting a sub to real good vibes. <laughs> All right. You're actually going that way now, are we? <laughs> Thanks, TBM. Bye. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Uh, Citadel tower. That's where we need to go, I think. You have arrived at the Citadel Tower. Uh, okay. Do we just... go all the way back up the steps again, or...? Come on. Udina's presenting the Quarian's evidence to the Council. All right, I'm ready. Here we go. Eden Prime was a major victory. The beacon has brought us one step closer to finding the conduit. 
And one step closer to the return of the Reapers. You wanted proof? There it is. Oh, they're not going to believe it, though, this are they? This evidence is irrefutable, Ambassador. Saren will be stripped of his Spectre status, and all efforts will be made to bring him in to answer for his crimes. They do? I recognize the other voice, the one speaking with Saren. Matriarch Benezia. Who is that? Who is she? Matriarchs are powerful Asari who have entered the final stage of their lives. Revered for their wisdom and experience, they serve as guides and mentors to my people. Matriarch Benezia is a powerful biotic, and she had many followers. She will make a formidable ally for Saren. I'm more interested in the Reapers. What do you know about them? Only what was extracted from the Geth's memory core. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wiped out the Protheans. Then they vanished. The Reapers were an ancient race of machines that wipe out the Protheans. So... The Geth revere them. Saren's bringing them back. That's why they follow Saren. Saren's bringing them back. Must the be. The Geth believe the Reapers are gods, and Saren is the prophet for their return. We think the Conduit is the key to bringing them back. Saren's searching for it. That's why he attacked Eden Prime. Do we even know what this conduit is? Um... Saren thinks it can bring back the Reapers. That's bad enough. Yeah. Listen to what you're saying. Saren wants to bring back the machines that wiped out all life in the galaxy? Impossible. It has to be. Where did the Reapers go? Why did they vanish? How come we found no trace of their existence? If they were real, we'd have found something. But you said that it was impossible that Siren was a traitor, and now you're like, yeah, sure, kick him out. He's awful. So, look. Don't go talking to me about what the heck an impossible, for goodness sake. Yeah, you doubted me before. I tried to warn you about Saren, and you refused to face the truth. Don't make the same mistake again. This is different. You proved Saren betrayed the Council. We all agree he's using the Geth to search for the Conduit, but we don't really know why. The Reapers are obviously just a myth, Commander. A convenient lie to cover Saren's true purpose. A legend he is using to bend the Geth to his will. Uh, uh, the thing is, I know, I know that Valen isn't gonna isn't gonna believe me because before when i was like a vision this whole king council <laughs> they the whole group were like are we bringing dreams into this now is a dreams evidence And to be fair, I kind of understand that because I don't know how I'd feel if, I, if the shoe was on the other foot. Why must this game be so complex? <laughs> ah! All right, um, I've seen him. Let's go. Thousand years ago, the Reapers Let's go. wiped out all galactic civilization. If Saren finds the conduit, it will happen again. Saren is a rogue agent on the run for his life. He no longer has the rights or resources of a Spectre. The council has stripped him of his position. That is not good enough. You know he's hiding somewhere in the Traverse. Send your fleet in! A fleet cannot track down one man. Who can the then? The Citadel fleet could secure the entire region, keep the Geth from attacking any more of our colonies. Or it could trigger a war with the Terminus systems. We won't be dragged into a galactic confrontation over a few dozen human colonies. Send me! <laughs> I want to know what their alternate plan is. I mean, sure, yeah, send me, but... Every time humanity asks for help, you ignore us. Shepard's right. I'm sick of this council and its anti-human bull... Ambassador, there is another solution. 
A way to stop Saren that does not require fleets or armies. No, it's too soon. Humanity is not ready for the responsibilities that come with joining the Spectres. I'm ready. I faced Saren on Eden Prime and exposed him for a traitor. I've proven myself. Commander Shepard, step forward. It is the decision of the Council that you be granted all the powers and privileges of the Special Tactics and Reconnaissance Branch of the Citadel. Spectres are not trained, but chosen. Individuals forged in the fire of service and battle. Those whose actions elevate them above the rank and file. Spectres are an ideal, a symbol, the embodiment of courage, determination, and self-reliance. They are the right hand of the Council, instruments of our will. Spectres bear a great burden. They are protectors of galactic peace, both our first and last line of defense. The safety of the galaxy is theirs to uphold. You are the first human Spectre, Commander. This is a great accomplishment for you and your entire species. Thanks. I'm honored, Counselor. We're sending you into the Traverse after Saren. He's a fugitive from justice, so you are authorized to use any means necessary to apprehend or eliminate him. Any idea where to find him? We will forward any relevant files to Ambassador Udina. This meeting of the Council is adjourned. <laughs> My heart's going. <laughs> Congratulations, Commander. We've got a lot of work to do, Shepard. You're going to need a ship, a crew, supplies. You'll get access to special equipment and training now. You should go down to the CSEC Academy and speak to the Spectre Requisitions Officer. Anderson, come with me. I'll need your help to set all this up. <laughs> breathe, Connor, breathe. <laughs> I thought the Ambassador would be a little more grateful. He didn't even thank you. Um... He's got a lot on his mind. Come on. Right behind you, Shepard. <gasps> Elite agents of the Council, the Spectres have access to special training unavailable anywhere else. In, uh, unavailable elsewhere in the galaxy increases health accuracy and effectiveness of all attacks and plow and powers well um i'm glad i definitely absolutely on purpose saved all of these points that i definitely didn't forget that i had because this is the exact moment that i was definitely intentionally saving them for <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't spend any more points there now? I can't? Alright, well, uh, Charm, look. 
I could, it's, it's done me well so far. Equal, equal amounts intimidating and charming. I'm just doing it. I don't know. This is, you're probably all shouting at me, but I just don't care. I was, I'm having fun having extra options in the dialogue. It's the best bit. Uh, frontline warriors are trained to withstand the physical. All right, okay, there's two more points. We can deal with that next time. We, who needs fighting skills? Who needs to fight when we can talk? <laughs> I just want both options. I want, I want more dialogue options. That's literally, that's literally it. <laughs> okay, um, so cool. Uh, so that's cool. Um, Wow! A swarm of spectre now? No big deal. The first human spectre, they said. Press X to doubt, please, friends. Press X to doubt. <laughs> Can talk your way into and out of any mess. Sounds delicious. I'm there. Wow! <sighs> Uh, I don't really know where I'm supposed to be going. I'm going to be completely honest. Apparently, we're going to the embassy. Spectre Carlo, it's me. It me, Spectre Carlo. Holy moly. Um, I've arrived at the embassies. Well, that's great Um, and everything. I, I don't know how to find the dude who was the Spectre before me, whose name I have absolutely, completely and utterly forgotten. Uh, I, don't, I don't know how to find him. I don't, I don't know how to find him. I want to know what happened to him. I want to know what happened to him. It's, that's what, that's what, that's what the deal was before everything else. And, and he worked with Sauron and, or at least the very nasty drunk man told us that. So, I mean, I don't know why I'm believing the very nasty drunk man. Uh, to be perfectly honest with you, but, um, just trying to figure out if we do that today or if we leave that. Oh, wow! We, but, yep, we leave that. That, my friends, will be the cliffhanger that we live on what happens there. I can't believe I'm a spectre! Holy butts, chat! Holy butts! Uh, wow, we didn't... We didn't... We didn't save at all today. We didn't. We didn't save. <clears throat> Whoops. Woodworker, thank you so much for nine months. Welcome back. Where is this button? I'm doing another month of nonsense. Thank you. Definitely forgot to save. Let's just double check. Uh, six hours, 38 minutes. That checks out. That's more like it. That's, that's more like it. That's more like it. Oh, man. We did it. We're here. Imagine the game crashed. Unbelievable. Imagine. Imagine. My cat can tell the time. Hi, gorgeous. You're a good girl. You're a good girl. You are. You're hungry. All right. Should we go and get some snacks in a minute? Yeah? All right, we'll just say goodbye to chat and then we'll go and get some snacks. What do you think? <laughs> I did it. I'm okay with Spectre. This is Pumpkin. She hates everybody, including me. Um, but she can also tell the time. <laughs> can your animals tell the time? Mine can. Mine can tell the time. I don't really know how she manages it, but she does. All right, let me find us somebody uh, to raid. What? What? Uh, what stream? What? What day? What? Uh, life? What? What day to be alive? Thanks for being here, everybody. Thank you. Spectre, all Kolo needs is an octopus ring, a cult following, and a cat. Look. Oh. Be careful now. Be careful where you're going with that one. <laughs> be careful where you're going with that one. <clears throat> all right. Let's go. <laughs> let's let's go see someone, <laughs> shall we? Thank you for the bobs. That was tremendous. <laughs> I very much enjoyed watching you play and have some meaningful conversation too. Lots of meaningful conversation. That's what we're about here. That. That that combination of of kind of upbeat vibes, reality, real the real stuff, 
the important stuff. And... Life. Just, like... My brain is absolutely... I don't know what the right, right word is. My brain is absolutely from this stream and this game. And it's sort of hard to say we're only playing it once a week because I can't wait to play it again. But also, I'm not sure my brain could handle playing it more than once a Another week. I'm going to be honest with really. you. <laughs> Fish! Fish, thank you so much for the 20 months. Welcome back. Welcome home. Friends, if you haven't been here before, or if you didn't know this, I am playing Mass Effect every single Monday live here on Twitch. Um, and I also have a YouTube channel. So if you want to catch up on YouTube, the episodes of Mass Effect will then go up onto YouTube on every Wednesday. Um, so you can catch up over there as well if you would prefer to. If you like things, like a Skyrim, um, Elite Dangerous, if you like, what else have we got up in there? Bits of Pokemon, um, Outer Wilds, uh, we've got Journey, oh, what a beautiful game that was, that was a lovely game, wasn't it? Um, and loads of standalone stuff as well, uh, and also summaries of me playing through things like Portal with my friend Psyche and basically just laughing <laughs> for 10 minutes straight, then you can go and see that over on YouTube too. Um, folks who've been here following along who have been watching on YouTube, hi, thank you so much for being here. Um, I appreciate you watching, I appreciate you following along, and the playlist for the whole videos will be in the description. Um, I did mention earlier that the comments will be disabled from here on out, and I will be making a video for that as well, so that will also be in the description when that's sorted. Um, but in the meantime, just please look after yourselves and we'll, and we'll see you next week. Wow! What a stream! Holy butts! Um, let's go say hello to somebody. Who can we go and say hello to? Hmm. I wonder. I wonder who we can go and say hello to. It would be great to go and say hello to somebody else playing a space game. Wouldn't it be wonderful to go and say hello to somebody playing a space game who's also a table story person? Let's do that, shall we? Let's do that. Let's go see Nicotine. I'm gonna go and say hello to Nicotine. Who's playing Starbase right now? Let's go see her. Thank you all so much for the support. Thank you for the nonsense and everything. And just thank you so much for spending your time with me. You know, you only have limited time. And I appreciate that you want to spend it here playing games with us. Thanks, everybody. Um, before we go, before we go anywhere, please thank you to the mods. Please thank you to the mods. <laughs> They work so hard keeping chat help free, hint free, spoiler free in these playthroughs. And we genuinely, we would not be able to do these streams without them. Um, when I say they make it possible, I am completely and utterly serious. Uh, we would not be playing this game without them. So please send them your thanks and your love before we go. See you next Monday for the best Monday ever. Oh, soul! Thank you so much for the bobs. Mods, you're the best. Thank you. Let's go see Nicotine. We are going into an 18 plus stream. Here is your warning. She is delightful. You will love her. That's also a warning. She's delightful. You have been warned. <laughs> Let's go see her. Here is our raid message. Please copy and paste that. Um, I will be back on uh, Tuesday over on Table Stories channel twitch.tv forward slash table story uh, playing tabletop games if you'd like to come and find that out. In the meantime you can come and catch me in all of these lovely places in these corners of the internet. Basically if you search Hello It's Golo it's me. I'll see you there. Um, what else do I need to tell you? My brain is so gone from this like my normal spiel is just Totally intercepted right now. I got absolutely no idea. <laughs> I got absolutely no idea. Um, what do I need to say? The same thing I the same thing we do every night. Try to take over the world. <laughs> Which is actually please make sure that you tell the people that you love that you love them. And please take care of yourselves as kindly as you would take care of somebody that you love. Alright, it's very important. It's a lot of people here, and that's terrifying. Alright, I love you. <laughs> 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 <laughs>